Hello everybody, this is Give Your Anxiety and bring you guys another AOE3 video slash stream here. This is the GUA October 2019 Subscriber Tournament Series. We are in the bronze match here between Soldier and Kaiser Klein. So this is a, this is for third place, uh, which does have a $40 prize pool here. So the winner will be in $40 and third place title. And the loser will be getting nothing here. So this is best of seven. And uh, we got Mido here co-casting with me. How are you doing, Mido? Hello. Doing pretty good. Looking All right. To casting some Age of Empires 3. Yep, as always. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, spin the wheel for the map. As you guys know, we got random maps and random sibs, sibs throughout the entire tournament. So let's see what we get as the first map. All right, first map is Kamchatka. And I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel here for Kaiser Klein. See what civilization Kaiser Klein gets here in game one. Kaiser Klein getting the Dutch. Yeah. I remember you guys talking about the spelling. I know I typed that super fast. I know I didn't spell that right. I'm trying to read chat. Anyways, all right. So Kaiser Klein getting Dutch, and I'm gonna go ahead and spin the wheel for Soldier. Let's see what civilization Soldier gets here in game one. Soldier getting the Spanish. Ooh, it's an interesting matchup, actually. Yeah, that is quite interesting. Um, honestly, two civs there. Um, not played super often, Spain definitely being uh, one of the least played civs. And Dutch, I don't know, I always feel like Dutch is a pretty good civilization, yet they're not really played very often. Um, and yeah, obviously Spain versus Dutch, not one that you see very super often. Um, yeah, I think this can be a pretty close matchup. I actually would say that it's Spain favored. But I just don't know how familiar Soldier is with Spain, so I'll say that this game will probably be close. But uh, yeah, this is a th this is a matchup that could honestly have a lot of really weird things going. Like players could randomly play H two a bit as civs that don't want to play H two, just because of how difficult the early fortress can be for uh, Dutch sometimes defending those early falcs without falcs of their own, for example. And uh, yeah, I don't know, could be interesting. Yeah, definitely. Um, Spain, I mean, Dutch sometimes can take a while to get going with, you know, they want to build up their banks, get their kind of eco going. And Spain, you know, they have really fast, like fast fortress and kind of death ball army that can come pretty quickly. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. Would you kind of compare this to um, to Spain versus Japan? I know I think people say with Japan they can sometimes struggle versus, uh, du or versus Spain. Because it's kind of like the same situation where, like, mm -hmm. maybe Jap and Dutch both want to have like time, and, and Spain's one of them civs that can really push quickly. Yeah, I think I think uh, Japan is one of those civs for sure that would also struggle against uh, Japan for the same reasons that Dutch do. Um, they're just a little bit slower to get to fortress, and then they don't really have a super easy way to deal with all the siege that uh, Spain can throw at them super quickly, and especially the two falconets. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. Right, yeah, it is a struggle for Dutch to, right, to get up to Fortress themselves. And, right, if, if the Dutch decides to stay age two, like, right, like, what are they going to do versus two Falks? I mean, yeah, it can definitely be a challenge. Try to, I guess, maybe optimize, like, TC fire onto the Falks if they can. But, yeah, Skirmishers, obviously, not the best to be try to take, you know, try to take down Falks and uh, can be tough getting those, like, Hussar flanks. But here we go. We are into game one. Best of seven here in the GUA October 2019 subscriber tournament series. This is the bronze match between Soldier and Kaiser Klein. Game one being played on Kamchatka. Soldier playing as a Spanish civilization and Kaiser Klein playing as a Dutch here. And uh, we're in store for a good series here. Really looking forward to this one. Yep, should be good. <clears throat> And we have the snowy Kamchatka as the snow is coming down. It's been snowing in Chicago. I don't know how it's been up there in Canada for you. Uh, we've had snow for at least six weeks. <laughs> yeah, I'd expect <laughs> <So>. that. 
Yeah, it's, it snow's been coming early this year. Usually it doesn't snow, um, you know, quite like it is here. I mean, it's not a ton of snow, but it's come early in the year. Mm -hmm. I envy you. I wish we were getting <laughs> snow around now. <laughs> All right. All right. Anyway, yeah. uh, do you want to do the introductions or shall I? Yeah, sure. So we have um, we have Soldier here playing as a Spanish in the blue. Looks like he's about to get a 40 coin treasure. Pretty nice. And um, Kaiser Klein playing as the Dutch. Looks like this is a 100 Woodstock for the Dutch civilization. And we do have Kaiser Klein going across to the middle of the map here looking for those big treasures. What are these guys rambling about? about? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, all right. What are we talking about now? <laughs> Yeah, so, both players just going to the middle of the map. Pretty standard stuff for this map, trying to get those uh, matches of two goats that spawn in the middle and some of those larger treasures. And it uh, looks like Soldier does spot that 80 coin, as does Kaiser now, that war dog pretty far away to assist in getting that, though. So Soldier may just choose to go for the safer 35 food. But actually, Kaiser's starting the treasure. Yeah, See both. If Soldier notices. Right, both of them starting treasure at the same time. And I, oh, maybe Soldier doesn't notice. Thought he was going to change his path, but uh, no. So either he doesn't notice or has decided he's not going to get there in time to contest it. So right. Uh, so he's going to get this thirty-five food, and the Dutch is going to get eighty coin, which is really nice for Dutch. And if you notice, it's actually a gold start too. So uh, Dutch with a gold start and getting an eighty coin treasure, that's got to be quite nice for Dutch. Kaiser, she hasn't even. Or no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong person. I was looking at Soldier. I was going to say Kaiser hasn't picked up his gold crate, but it's actually Soldier. Who hasn't? Which makes sense because that will help him um, age up a little bit more easily. That gold crate not going to help him at all until colonial, so it makes sense to do that. Yeah. Um, so you think the crates are it obviously probably benefits the Dutch here more so than the Spain? Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know if it's a super big deal. I mean, um, obviously, I think Spain would like a wood start, but I mean, the difference between a fo food start and a coin start, I don't think is super big for Spain in this matchup, just because the coin crate is still going to help you get to uh, Fortress anyway. Uh, the main thing is whether or not Spain can actually age on 15 bills, um, which it looks like Soldier will be able to do uh, relatively easily, so it shouldn't really be too much of an issue. Yeah, it's quite funny. Uh, looking at the like the food totals there, like Kaiser Klein had like 800 food when Soldier's at like 500. <laughs> It's just you know with the with, with the gold that Kaiser Klein was getting and gold star and the gold treasure, he, he didn't have that many bills mm -hmm. on gold at all. So he was able to obviously get that food quite a bit quicker and just age up a bit sooner. Um, but he, he still did normal what, fourteen village up or fifteen village up for the Dutcher. Yeah, uh, so yep, looks 15. like that is the case. Mm -hmm. And uh, looks like Soldier will be going up with the Governor, granting him that two hundred coin and the outpost. Uh, so not going to be going for anything crazy with maybe a 500 food Egypt for some Hussars or other military units. Uh, just going to get that forward tower. Looks like he is going to be going likely for an aggressive fast fortress, which is kind of the norm we would expect from Spain, especially in this matchup. Uh, for Kaiser, on the other hand, um, he's also doing normal things till now. Uh, but the question is, how will he try to mitigate the potential damage he could get from the Spanish fast fortress? Because... Uh, just allowing that tower to go up for free right next to your base could be pretty tricky. So he could choose to maybe stay colonial a little bit, just take down that tower before following up to Fortress. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Yeah, definitely. I was just uh, peeking at each player's decks. Kaiser Klein does have Colonial Militia in his deck, so you know that could potentially come into play here. Uh, I don't think he's he's not going to maybe be super reliant on it or maybe not planning to do it, but... You know, it can always sometimes be like an emergency shipment that uh, mm -hmm. can come in handy very well, especially against like super heavy aggression. Yeah, it definitely can be uh, pretty useful. And Soldier is a pretty unorthodox uh, style of player, so you've got to be ready for anything. You don't know if he's going to be doing the normal fast fortress or he's going to pretend to do it, build two Raxes behind your base and go 40 pikes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, exactly. Sometimes, sometimes he throws in the cheese, so. Yeah. So Colonial Militia is a good shipment to have against Soldier in general, I think. Yeah, Soldier spying this 150 coin treasure and is now starting it. So that's going to be a really nice one if you can get that. He just sharp shot one of them and uh, looks like he'll maybe be going back for it later. He's actually running away quite far from it. Definitely want to keep yeah, an eye on like, it. I think he's just a little bit distracted by 
the envoy that spotted his outpost. And actually, it's going to be enough to uh, provoke him to put the outpost back. And actually, I wonder if, like, he kept the outpost walking forward next to the envoy for a little while there. So uh, Kaiser actually might think that this uh, outpost is still forward at the moment. Um, and Soldier maybe trying to mind game a little bit, maybe trying to make Kaiser commit to uh, some units in Colonial without, or like, as like if he's expecting the tower to be forward, you might commit units to try and take down the tower, right? Right. And that's kind of what Soldier's hoping uh, he would do by putting the tower back here. But it uh, looks like Kaiser is going to end up scouting it and not going to uh, fall prey to that this time around. Yeah, mind games always uh, always good to try to mix in those mind games, and it's always fun and interesting to uh, to like consider those and and to see the players, you know, do these different little tricks. Mm -hmm. Do have unfortunately a... for Soldier though, Kaiser did scout it, and now he is going to be going a little bit more greedy than maybe he would have otherwise. Uh, he is dropping another bank, getting that market down. Uh, likely going to be sending the bank wagon as his next card. Uh, however, he does still have to be careful, because if he does invest too much into his economy here, he could get caught off guard by uh, by Spain. Even though that tower is not forward, it's only going to delay his pressure by maybe like 15 seconds, 20 seconds, something like that. And he is already um, almost halfway up, so. Yeah, we do have Soldier also dropping down the market here, so it looks like he may want to get hunting dogs and press, perhaps uh, play some mines, get a little bit of eco behind his um, play at least, and he is also adding in a barracks here. But yeah, nice wall from Kaiser Klein. Look at this from fourth bank and just very well built base here, uh, with, mm -hmm. with the banks, the house, and the market here. Important to note that uh, the banks are actually very close to the town center. Um, a lot of times, you'll see Dutch maybe have a little bit more space uh, to work with between the banks and the TC. But in this matchup, because of those falconets and how quickly Spain can get them into your base. You want to have them close to your TC so your TC can provide support to try and take down those Falconets, mitigate as much damage as they can do as possible. Uh, so yeah, very smart base building from him for sure. Yeah, and we do also have five villager shipment coming in for Soldier here. So we went with 700 gold initially in H2, then 700 wood and five villagers. So uh, getting some eco behind this... But also, uh, let's see if he's going to really put on the aggression here early H3 or what, what his game plan will be here. And uh, the four Husser from the age up are in. And wow, Bacheron's here. Yeah, it looks like he is going to be trying to be aggressive. He's had the Explorer under the Dutch Town Center, sees no military buildings at all. Four banks, knows that Kaiser won't have anything for a while. So he's just going to go right on in, try and maybe kill some bills, uh, maybe delay some military buildings, that type of thing. Um, and he's got a shipment on the way right now as well. I'll have to wait and see what it is, but uh, it could be Falconets, potentially. We'll have to see how this pathing works out. Husser's trying to get around here, perhaps uh, trap a vill. One vill, ooh, close, getting hurt. Uh, one vill is going down, nice little pickup there, and there's still a couple of villas far out on these hunts, but Kaiser now pulling them into town center. And uh, perhaps Soldier can spot this one other villager further out on the gold mine. Perhaps get a trap here. Doesn't see it. Looks like that bill will live to mine another day. And the shipment has arrived for soldier. It's actually going to be a thousand wood. Um, so maybe just pre pushing into the base. Going to be trying to bait Kaiser Klein into having to feeling like he has to ship a military shipment rather than a thousand wood himself. Meanwhile, behind this soldier just goes for a thousand wood and tries to get a little bit more economy with that second TP going down. Dropping a stable, maybe grabbing um, some additional houses, or even a second town center he could think about doing. Yeah, so he is also adding in a stable here. He's got a second batch of skirms out. So we have 10 skirms out. And meanwhile, Kaiser Klein trained five Reuters and has crossed the map with Reuters. Soldier, nice little pick off here with the skirms, getting some shots onto the Reuters. Going back in for another volley here. Yeah, it looks like Sol or, uh, Kaiser recognizing that there's not a lot of skirms here and actually just going to be choosing to take the fight. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to be the best trade in the world for him. Uh, maybe if he picks off these Hussars, it will be pretty good for him. But it uh, looks like at the end of the day, it's actually going to be pretty even. And uh, I think now that he's seen the second ta um, trading post and he hasn't seen any Falconets or anything like that, he's probably suspecting that Soldier went for something a little bit greedier. So he knows that he... 
he has the military advantage for the time being, so he can be a little bit aggressive with these Reuters. And so he's just going to try and pick off some Vills for now. Get some more information done, seize the stable down. Gets one Vill. Second Vill going to be just fine. No. Nope. Ooh, okay. very close. Uh, well, the other Vill is going to go down here, though. The Reuters doing quite a bit of damage here to the Eco. Meanwhile, looks like Soldier is trying to cross the map. He does have two Falks out now. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot to defend it, though. If these Reuters uh, just come back, he could potentially just pick off those Falks pretty easily. Uh, Soldier does have uh, some War Dogs he could train from the Explorer if he gets his Explorer up to the Falconets in time. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be tricky for Soldier, maybe, as there's a lot of Reuters out. Yeah, this is a very small mass protecting the Falks, definitely, as you're saying. Uh, but Soldier had good cannon control, trying to get Valleys off, but yeah, there's so many Reuters here, and just... The dogs are trained here, Rods are moving in, in though. Yeah, it looks like, uh, Kaiser actually missed an opportunity there to maybe go melee with the Reuters, and so the Falconets are gonna live for the time being, continuing to apply pressure onto that bank, and killing, killing banks against Dutch is absolutely huge, just because of the XP reward you get, so if he does kill that bank, he'll basically get, um, over half a shipment uh, for himself, which is always nice as Spain in particular. Yeah, it just looks like Soldier doesn't have enough here, and he's kind of getting yeah. kited. And Soldier did take one bank out, but he's also kind of losing quite a bit of units here, and he's already he's down an eco by quite a bit, um, even after killing the one bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that killing that bank definitely hurts. Um, I mean, I mean, definitely helps mitigate some of the damage, but it still hurts losing all those units. Um, and yeah, just so many Reuters out now, just nothing to defend this. He's, uh, soldier's got to be really careful with these Falconets. He's probably going to end up losing them here if Kaiser keeps pushing forward, but no, Kaiser not going to be risking that, just picking off the units that he can pick off in front. Not going to overcommit for those Falks. Yeah, yeah I... things looking good for Kaiser at the moment, for sure. Yeah, I like the control by Soldier, because he, like, obviously we see that he has a pretty underwhelming mass, and that Kaiser Klein could kind of just, like, right-click and go all in. But of course, with Kaiser Klein, you know, he doesn't have line of sight in the entire game, so he doesn't know what Soldier can have behind. He doesn't know if Soldier's baiting or not. And kind of like the way that Soldier was moving his units, he made it seem like it was a potential bait, so uh, he kind of forced Kaiser Klein not to overcommit it and just, you know, take those fouls out easily. But right now, Falks are kind of out of position. Skirmisher is getting some pretty good volleys. Um, and the Rod's going on. One Falk does go down here. But well, quite a bit of Rod's also going down for the One Falk. Lancers now probably need to retreat here. Yeah, he did lose One Falk. You know what, this trade is actually probably not that bad for Soldiers. Probably about as good as he could have hoped for at the time. And uh, he's actually not too far behind in the skirmisher mass, and that one falconet will help compensate for that. He just needs to be careful not to lose it to the Reuters here. They might just go right in. And yeah, it looks like that is what they're going to do, having noticed that there's not a lot of Rotoleros there for a uh, soldier. And ah, a Hussar switch coming in. Um, that might be the that nail in the coffin here. There's not enough anti-cap here for the soldier. He's going to be forced to retreat. Yeah. And he doesn't really have anything on the way. He only has skirmishers in queue behind this, so uh, he's going to have to micro really well if he wants to not die to these Vet Hussars. War Dogs being trained at the Explorer. Probably not going to be enough, though, especially how, with how, how to position he is, and he just gets taken out before it even pops as well. Uh, does still have access to Miniman, though. Yeah, pretty good card from Soldier. I mean, lots of Vet Hoss definitely mm -hmm. scary. Uh, Soldier doing a pretty good a... job. Yeah, he actually did a really good job of dropping off the, the couple skirmishers that were being snared and created a lot of extra distance between um, the main mass of his skirmishers and the SAR, so it keeps them alive for the time being. So that's, uh, yeah, definitely going to keep him in the game for now, but he's behind 40 score, so he has to come up with some way to to either win a fight or like draw out the game in a, such a way that he can do some economic damage and maybe last until, until it pays off for him, but... It's going to be a while before that happens, I think. Yeah, not in the best situation. Uh, it's kind of rough. You can't let the Dutch boom away too much. And perhaps Soldier playing too defensively, you know, early on in early H3. He didn't really do any economic damage for a long time. And meanwhile, Dutch was just kind of being Dutch and, and uh, booming quite hard. 
and right. just out booming the Spain while Spain wasn't putting on any aggression, really. Yeah, Soldier kind of trying to maybe match the greed with a thousand wood, but um, not matching Dutch's economy is not an easy thing to do, especially for Spain in particular. So, yeah, maybe not the the most sound game plan from him this time around, and it's definitely uh, showing at this point in the game. Yeah, and he's also starting to run pretty thin on Hans. He's forced to get really far out on the map. And uh, just uh, less eco and less military here, so definitely not in the, the best situation here, but we'll have to see if he can put something together and uh, maybe get some good exchanges, at good trades here, and make something happen. Yep, he is continuing to train uh, Rotoleros, uh, as well as mixing in some Lancers now. So he's going for that melee composition that can maybe get him a win if he manages to get a really good position with it. But some Vils exposed here are going to be losing a lot of them, most likely. Armies out of position to defend that. That's probably going to be at least 10 dead Vils. Yeah, and as you can see, he's got Vils spread out so far out on the map that, it, you know, that's kind of why his army was out of position, because he's got villagers way on the right side, but he also has villagers way on the left side. So it's like, you know, where do you position your army? You know, you can't really have, you can't protect all the villagers. So it definitely made it, uh, very difficult to cover his villagers and made him very vulnerable to raids. Um, this guy's trying to take advantage yeah. of that. Two more vills probably going to get spotted here. Nope. Looks like they will actually survive for a little bit longer. There's a villager coming down to drop the house up, up here, which will eventually give Kaiser Klein um, knowledge of those villagers. Oh, this might be the this might be go time for Soldier. Uh, Pikes on the flank going to be getting on to top of the Reuters there. Um, Lancer is going to be getting into an okay position, but the Hussars there's they're going to be getting onto the skirmishers potentially. And this just looks like uh, Soldier doesn't have enough stuff. Yeah, there's just like so much kiting and hitting and running occurring before this fight like really began. Uh, with with just a uh, Superior Scare Mass and the Reuters have made it very tough. And there's the yeah, GG. And... Yeah, Soldier Crab's trying to just mind game your opponent, uh, catch him off guard with some type of strategy, but you just can't outboom the Dutch really with Spain, and you know, you can't really give them that much time as the Soldier really allowed the Dutch a lot of time to mm -hmm. get their economy really flowing. Mm -hmm. The the four house from the age up, I believe the soldiers talking about. <laughs> he says he faked it, but then yeah, it's funny. That's what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, soldier, soldier trying to pop the main ga mind games, um, but yeah, didn't end up working. Yeah, so we're seeing soldier say there he was trying to get Kaiser Klein to ship eight pikes. And uh, you know, get Dutch to kind of waste the shipment, but uh, Kaiser Klein really had help with the scouting, and it just he didn't have to, so didn't work out for yeah, Soldier as he would have hoped. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we are going to get into game two right away. Game two is going to be played on Florida, and we're going to go ahead and spin the wheel for Kaiser Klein. Let's see what civilization Kaiser Klein gets here in game two. Kaiser Klein getting the British civilization. All right, we're going to spin the wheel for Soldier. Let's see what Civilization Soldier gets here in game two. All right, and Soldier getting Russia. 
So we have Brit versus Russia on Florida here. What are your thoughts, Mino? Hmm. I think normally this is not the best matchup for uh, British, but on Florida, I feel like uh, you can just get so many hunts in your base sometimes, and you have so much space behind your base. Like you even have two extra gold mines uh, behind there that are relatively safe to gather from. That maybe Brit will be totally fine here. Yeah, but uh, it will. I guess it will depend a little bit on. Um, what kind of strategies they go for. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, Soldier is probably not going to be too upset about this matchup, regardless of the map. Um, it is one where the ball is sort of in his court, and he gets to sort of um, choose how the game is going to play out. And uh, that's kind of what you want, usually, from, um, from a counter matchup. So I don't know, should be good for... For Soldier, I think. Maybe going to give him an opportunity to tie up the series. Yeah, definitely. So, Kaiser Klein currently up 1-0 here. And we're on Florida here. Kaiser Klein playing as the British. Soldier playing as the Russia. And on Florida, you do start with a market. So, I've thought of this, um, you know, myself recently. Do you, what do you, who do you think benefits more from, like, a free market here? Do, would, like, the British benefit from it more, or is it like equal? I mean, I'm sure one sieve has to like benefit more than the other, even if it's like a very slight benefit. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Brit benefits more, just because they have more villagers than Russia does early on. I mean, sure, normally Russia doesn't get a market in general, but I think um, just the sheer amount of vills that Brit has early on means that they get more out of it in general. Yeah, that, uh, that's a very good point. Um, yeah, I can see that definitely being true. So, uh, or Kaiser Klein up top, uh, in North Plain is the British here. Dropped a manor, now working on a second manor, and also getting hunting dogs. And uh, Soldier playing as the Russians, leaving 100 wood on the floor here, it looks like. Or, um, or is that just... Yeah, it looks like he's yeah. not going to be going for hunting dogs himself or anything like that. Uh, it looks like he maybe flirted the possibility of getting it. He ha he did mine seven gold and then uh, stopped. And yeah, now he got a 40 coin treasure. So now that he's confirmed that he has the gold uh, to actually afford hunting dogs, he will actually gather the crate. So I guess just holding off and um, making sure that he can actually age with 14 villagers on time. Doesn't want to maybe waste time mining gold when he might not be able to get that optimal age up in. But getting the treasure sort of allowed him to do that. That was a very long-winded explanation for that, but <laughs> maybe, no. maybe that was the thought process there. I don't know. Uh, it sounds, sounds good to me here. And Soldier did find one sheep here, so this is always something to kind of keep an eye on, take note of. Um, on maps where you do get herdables, sometimes you'll see the Russia players eat their herdables in H1 uh, just so that they have can have like very little to zero idle TC time just to get their age up a little bit quicker. Um do you expect Soldier to do that this game, or do you think he'll save the sheep for later? Uh, I think it really depends on just how much food he has when he's at 14 bills. I think if he has to, he probably will just eat them. Right, to get right. Up sooner. Like, yeah, like if you find a food treasure and you don't need it, then obviously keep the sheep. But yeah, if it can help you get up sooner, yeah, it's kind of something mm -hmm. I guess you always, it always just um, is different each game. and. Yeah, you just got to play it by ear. Exactly. Mm hmm. But yeah, I don't think I don't think he would want to age with uh, seventeen villagers against British in particular, uh, just because it makes it a lot harder to restrict what Brit is going to do, because you give them uh, a little bit of extra time to set up their defense, like maybe place some extra manners forward, uh, maybe even like um, herd in some extra hunts or any or something like that. So. Yeah, and Soldier is deciding to eat these two sheep here uh, in age one, get that age up, do that 14 bill age up, and uh, just re have no idle time or just very little. Kaiser Klein getting a nice charger here, 80 wood that he's working on. Yep, definitely can't complain about that as Brit. Both players uh, starting to herd in their second hunts here. Kaiser Klein, uh, not really making much of a 
uh, wall, you know, with his base this game. So it looks like he's actually using his manage more so for line of sight here rather than kind of like making a natural wall with them, uh, like he kind of did last game mm -hmm. with Dutch. Yeah, and that kind of makes sense because as Brit, you're probably going to want to leave your base a little bit uh, sooner, and so the extra line of sight will uh, help you decide, like, or help you defend those resources a little bit more easily. Um, it's worth noting, though, that Soldier's actually aging with the Philosopher Prince, the 500 food, so he's actually going to be playing this very aggressively, and uh, even placing that blockhouse as far forward as you possibly can. Um, so this could potentially be dangerous for Kaiser Klein if he's not careful. He's going to be starting with a stable, um, and going to be placing that tower um, next to his hunt. Unfortunately for him, the uh, units are going to be coming from the opposite side of his base, so that tower might not be as impactful as he would like it to be, particularly in defending that stable. Yeah, that is very true, right? The, um, the blockhouse of Russia over here, right, kind of on towards the left of the town center, meaning the muskets are me uh, taking this path and potentially not getting shot for the tower, from the tower, so uh, yeah, that could be nice for Soldier there. Stable is up for Kaiser Klein now. And yeah, the 500 food age up with the Russia, not seen very often. Usually you see that 400 wood age up, politician. And wow, Kaiser shipping five bills. Yeah. I mean, the, the idea behind this is just that um, you don't have to get, waste time gathering your crates and building manors. You just get the bills together immediately so you can get out more hussars more easily. But it is going to mean that he's not going to have a barracks up. Uh, anytime soon, which could make this a little bit more difficult to hold. Yeah, and Soldier sees this 135 point charge and decides to go for it. It's going to slow down his rush a little bit here. He's even sending the muskets. I don't know that he has to send the muskets here. Also, muskets are actually starting to walk really far away. Um... <laughs> so, Soldier does get this. Oh, and the Hustlers are actually coming across. This may work out for Soldier. As his Cossacks are kind of randomly catching the Hussars, and the Muskets aren't far away here. So this is actually a good catch for Soldier if these Muskets can get in the fight here, at least. I mean, kind of a pretty even trade, I, I suppose. Um, but I think that's mm -hmm. more beneficial for the Russia there, for Soldier. <laughs> Both of them. Yeah, I think he's probably going to want to push on his next shipment here, so taking out a few units is definitely going to be good for him, probably, just because... Um, there'll be less units to sort of support, um, Kaiser's, like, Minutemen and stuff like that. Um, I don't even know if what I said just made sense, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like uh, he's actually going for 700 wood. So, even though he aged with 500 food, it looks like he's actually adapted into a more normal, uh, game plan. Um... Maybe partially because uh, Kaiser did scout that 500 food, and he does already have a market up, so it doesn't really hurt him as much to um, to age with the food over the wood at this point. So um, seems okay uh, for now. Maybe not the most optimal, but um, yeah. It's quite funny seeing Russia seeds down a, a house. Uh... Uh, kind of questionable, obviously, slowing down the Russia rush, but it actually did house Kaiser, so maybe maybe it might have been really good. Uh, here we go, Soldier. Yeah, it does, it does also give him a little bit of XP and restrict the line of sight, so it's not that bad. Yeah. And muskets are on top of the Hussars, uh, so I think this is pretty good for Soldier here. Soldier also catching a couple of villagers. Kaiser may be sleeping on his Hussars there, not pulling them back. Yeah, that was a bit of a questionable decision to go in there from Kaiser for sure. And now there's just a lot of musketeers out from um, from Soldier now. Kaiser did drop two Braxes with that 700 wood, so he will be able to um, mix in some units that do a little bit better against musketeers than Hussars do. Uh, but it's still going to take a little bit of time to get that mass up. And Kaiser only on 60 manor population. Now has three villagers building a manor with all pretty much all of his villagers on food and gold right now, so... Uh, it looks like he is a little bit house. I think that is probably going to be disrupting his unit production a bit. Ooh, and yeah, this is actually going to be quite nice. Oh, Kaiser moving the husks just in time. But um, Soldier is looking for those two Hussars, one of them very low HP. Could be a nice catch if Soldier does find those two. And Soldier also built this blockhouse while Kaiser finds uh, two Hussars and just barely missed uh, finding those villagers. 
and so those are also adding a stable there. Yeah, it's gonna just gonna give him uh, control over another hunt and gold mine, as well as give him some line of sight of any raids that come through uh, this location. Uh, it is gonna maybe make his Ford blockhouse a little bit more vulnerable though to uh, some sort of timing. So he does have to be a little bit careful about that. However, if he does lose the Ford base, it, he does have military buildings that he can use anyway. So pros and cons. So yeah, so Jiren does catch these two hussars here. Nice little cleanup. Let's take a look at the eco here, though. So, Kaiser Klein sitting at 37, uh, villager population. Soldier at 31. Not the biggest difference. We do have three manors coming down here. Uh, I don't know. It's a quite a close game, I, I'd, I'd say. Yeah. Um, Brit obviously not suffering a lot of damage to any early aggression, but he is starting to run out of uh, resources in his base. And the positioning of that... Uh, that blockhouse on the left is going to make it a little bit harder for Kaiser to leave his base for a lot of these resources on the western side of the map. Um, so Kaiser's going to have to try and push out pretty soon, and it doesn't look like he's going to be able to try and age or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, here's the six musketeer shipment. This might be uh, his time to push. He actually has quite a respectable mass now. And Soldier may be getting caught a little bit out of position here. Another reinforcing batch of Asar is going to come in. It's going to allow him to continue snaring uh, these musketeers, so this is actually pretty dangerous for Soldier. Soldier is really on top of it with these Cossack raids, though. Kazakhan unfortunately does see them and sends two Hussars there. Soldier does retreat with his musket mass, and uh, Soldier's been pretty good with his raids this game, as he did has picked off four of the British villagers. And uh, Cossack's finding some more villagers on the far gold mine here. Two Hussars are moving there to uh, try to respond there, and Soldier didn't get any villagers on that gold mine. Uh, damaged quite a few there, but um, it's kind of painful when you like yeah. you're raiding for a while, but you don't kill any. More importantly, though, Kaiser is onto this blockhouse now. It's going to go down before Soldier really has any uh, chance to try and defend that, and that's going to open up a lot of the map for Kaiser. Uh, he can just position his army now on the western side of the map and just defend his villagers, and uh, that could mean uh, Russia could be in trouble pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, so the Ecos are staying pretty similar, and generally, if you're playing as British in this matchup, you want your Eco to be, you know, quite, like, significantly better than the Russia's Eco. Uh, but they're very close here, and um, the Russia, they can just have such good trades here. We just have muskets on muskets, and a one batch of Strelitz will actually do a lot here. There are some British... Hussars going across the map. Oh, they do find Soldier's Villas here, which is actually uh, quite a big raid there. But I think Soldier having a pretty good trade in that musket fight there. Losing these three villagers definitely is painful for Soldier. But having some pretty good fights in, in these main uh, main fights here. Good trades. Yeah, finally missing in those Strelets has definitely given him a little bit of an advantage there. Uh, the Kaiser's Explorer, though, scouting all the Vils. Hussar's gonna be heading down there. Uh, this could sort of stop, uh, Soldier's economy for a couple minutes here. Uh, there are Musketeers coming back, but they're pretty far away from the Vils. He's probably gonna lose a couple of them before, uh, they actually get there. At least two probably gonna be going down here. And a lot of idle time as well. Yeah. However, right. Soldier responding in kind. Lots of raids this game here. Kaiser Klein sending some Hussars to try to catch these Cossacks here. And yeah, just lots of cal cavalry running around the map here this game. These Cossacks are all going to get caught here. It looks like they did kill a couple of villagers, but lots of Hussars here catching them. So just trying to escape here with as many as he can at least. Oh, and just more Hussars everywhere on the field here for Kaiser Klein. Get now killing lots of villagers from Soldier. So Joe was looking pretty good there for a little bit, I think, but um, did start losing a lot of villagers. And I think Soldier actually had the army to kind of force a fight, but he let um, Kazakhan really get out on the map. And I know at one point, Soldier's Cossacks ran like kind of right past this and just barely missed this. Um, and I, I think Soldier would have been good if he would have pushed and forced the fight, because I think he had the superior military. 
Uh, is the lag really bad? I don't, I don't know why it would be lagging here. It's maybe our connection. It's probably me. Mm. It's probably me because I'm in a really, I'm really isolated from everyone basically. So my ping is really bad, probably. Yeah. We'll see. We'll. Uh, I guess we'll talk about it after at the end of this game. Um, if the lag continues, uh, perhaps uh, solo cast it or something. We'll we'll talk to players. See what see uh, what. We can agree on. Mm -hmm. So, soldier with a uh, superior military population, but at the same time, Kaiser Klein, of course, he has lots of muskets, and they are two carded muskets here. British uh, economy uh, is a little bit superior. Soldier really doing a good job with these Cossack raids, though. Casa is kind of running around everywhere. Both players are raiding a lot this game. I think both players lost lots of villagers this game. Let's take a look. Kaiser Klein losing 11, 12 villagers. Soldier losing 13 villager down for uh, Kaiser and 9 villagers down for Soldier. And yeah, this could, oh my gosh, this could actually be a very, very painful raid if these Hussars can block the villagers here. Soldier trying to get these villagers into the blockhouse. But there are a lot of Hussars here to body block that's one villager going down two and this is actually getting pretty painful here that was a very big raid there soldier moving in also picking off a couple villagers himself but um, every time someone loses villagers the other person also loses villagers <laughs> really there jesus there's just so many villager raids this game um the eco yeah the eco's are just staying quite similar it's always the same with like british a couple villagers up boyers do come in here for soldier Have hit points for Kaiser Klein, however, so. Yeah. I mean, there's a very slight uh, military numbers advantage for Russia, but all these upgrades and this positioning from Kaiser Klein, this looks really, really bad for Soldier. All yeah, the Hussar is getting completely around that army. Yeah, Villager's even tanking, tanking a little bit here. Soldier. Yeah. And I think this, this might be the nail in the coffin. Um. Almost the entire army gonna be cleaned up. Uh, a few musketeers do escape, but uh, at the end of the day, Kaiser is sort of the one that has the the map control here, and uh, yeah, I feel like I don't know what soldier does to get back into the game from here. To be honest, yeah, I think uh, whoa, did soldier actually killed quite a few number of villagers? I think during that fight, I mean, he definitely is behind the military here, which is. Big, but he actually has the economy lead now for the first time in throughout the entire game. But yeah, this is a very scary mass from Kaiser Klein here with upgrade two card card upgraded muskets and the hussars upgraded also. So soldiers are gonna retreat here, maybe I don't know, try to buy some time, get together a mass. But uh, that is a scary British army here. So there does have minimans, so potentially like fighting in between these blockhouses with like minimans and potential, uh, yeah, looks like perhaps a lag spike here. So I think Soldier could have been doing a better job early on keeping Kaiser Klein off of the hunts. Is uh, Kaiser Klein really did have to push out far out on the map to get, to get these hunts. And Soldier just. <clears throat> narrowly missed it at one point with his uh, cab seeing it and uh, letting Kaiser Klein get away with gathering for a little bit longer than he really should have. Um, here we go, Minutemen is call are called and it is kind of in between these blockhouses and all of a sudden Soldier's musket mass is looking quite good and it's forced Kaiser Klein to retreat and meanwhile the Russia has the superior eco uh, and another villager going down for Kaiser Klein. Yeah, I guess he's uh, he's not out of the game just yet, maybe. Um, <laughs> these Cossacks have just been so annoying. Yeah, just... I think Kaiser has lost 29 villagers so far this game. Whew. Yeah, that is a lot. 29 villagers lost for Kaiser Klein and 14 lost for Soldier. So, yeah, I mean, if Soldier can keep up with this, keep this going... He could really yeah. get back in this. Oh, these villagers though. Oh no, they probably. But I don't oh. think I don't think soldiers actually too upset about that because 
he knows there's a oh lot of villagers gosh. on this side of the map as well, so he's just going to be uh, going for a counter push. And uh, I don't think Kaiser can really waste too much time on the right side of the map. Uh, like, he could potentially lose his whole economy here. Yeah, a couple of Hussars are responding, but now uh, Kaiser Klein's seen the entire Russian mass, and yeah, a lot of villagers are going down for Kaiser Klein. And all of a sudden, this game looks very good for Soldier, I feel like. We have yeah, just putting himself really out of position, um, Kaiser Klein did, so... And even, yeah, even more villagers are exposed here. The British with 24 villagers at 17 minutes here. And a lot more are going to go down here. Looks like we may have a big fight soon. Or potentially, you know, Soldier might lose the fight, but these Ecos... Yeah, it looks, looks like Soldier's actually just going to back off. He doesn't want to fight yet. He knows that... Uh... Alright, maybe I should just leave. Yeah... Uh... Yeah, I, I guess we can probably do that if, if it is quite laggy with um, us both casting. Um, it, it does seem like it is quite laggy throughout the game, so I'm not necessarily blaming Kaiser. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes there is lag. Kaiser Klein resigns here, Mido. Um Yeah, I obviously appreciate co casting, but yeah, maybe I, I guess I can just try to solo cast this as uh, it seems like it is a bit laggy here between us. But either way, I mean, yes, this game did lag a bit, but that doesn't really take away from, you know, the gameplay in this. This was actually crazy raids from Soldier. Obviously, as a player, it, it can quite be it can be quite frustrating playing in lag, and it's, you know, not the most enjoyable. Uh, but obviously, both players playing in the same exact lag, it's, e you know, even equal for both players. Um, so Soldier, yeah, I mean, staying in this game and, and his raids really just winning him it. Yeah, it was uh, definitely some good multitasking from him. But uh, anyway, I guess that's going to be it for me. So uh, have fun with the rest of the series, and I'll see you later. All right, man. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you coming on anyways. Yeah, adios. All right. All right, guys. So it looks like I am going to be solo casting this one. Of course, it's always uh, better to have a co-caster. I think it always just makes all streams much more enjoyable, you know, regardless of how good the... Uh, you know the one caster is it's, it's just always better to have uh, two you know two casters but um understandably quite a bit of lag here so we're gonna go to the solo cast but yeah that was a really good game there um Really back and forth. I mean, at some points it looked like it was over for Soldier, and uh, Soldier is just keeping up with them raids. I like a madman. Raiding just won in the game there. I hope we were wrecking. I don't know if we were recording those games. I hope we were. Okay, nice. He just did throw it on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. Well, it's been the wheel for a map. You guys can't see it. Let's see what map we get. All right, so game three is going to be played on Tibet. And let's go ahead and spin that wheel for Kaiser Klein. Let's see what civilization Kaiser Klein gets here in game three. Kaiser Klein getting the German civilization. I think he's going to be quite happy with that, as he yeah, is his main civilization. Alright, and let's spin the wheel for Soldier. Let's see what civilization Soldier gets here in Game 3. Soldier getting, oh, the Spanish! Soldier, I think, just joking, kind of saying for a respin, uh, for one so casual client get his German. Alright, so Soldier gets Spanish for the second time. 
Um, oof, okay. So we'll have to see if Soldier decides to use his respin. Obviously, it's a valuable respin. You only get one of them. This is the best of seven. You may want to save it uh, for another game where you might get something worse. But at the same time, this is Spanish versus German. Um, I don't know. I could see Soldier respinning it. But at the same time, this is Kaiser Klein's main civilization. So perhaps it wouldn't be smart to respin it because. Regardless of what sort of soldier gets, it's going to be a tough game since Kaiser Klein is playing his main civilization here. Alright, so Soldier deciding not to use his respin. We're getting straight into game three here. Currently, the series is tied up one to one. This is the bronze match of GUA October uh, 2019 subscriber tournament. Here we go. Playing on ESOC Tibet. Kaiser Klein playing as the German civilization. Soldier playing as the Spanish here. All right, so this is a, quite an interesting map. This map has not been in any tournaments in quite a while. It was um, in some earlier ESOC tournaments, but it hasn't seen tournament play in a while. Um, I guess there's quite a bit of controversy around this map. Some players really like it. Some players really hate it. I guess I will take a look at the Hans because this map can be quite... Um, uh, yeah, I think Soldier's Hunts are actually shit. Or Kaiser's Hunts are shit. Let's see, I mean, both players have four haunts. I'm trying to take a look at the haunts, see how bad they are. Um, Alright, so let's let the players know. Um, yeah, looking at the map. Okay, so it looks like Kaiser Klein does, he does resign. And I think that was the right call to make. Um, <laughs> because Soldier, I mean, his second hunt's pretty far, but Soldier kind of has like two back hunts. Meanwhile, Kaiser has like one, and then his other hunt's like, yeah, really far out. So I, I think that that was worth a restart. All right, so let's do this again. All right, so playing on Tibet again, I'm going to take a close eye at those hunts because this is definitely one of the maps that can have some bad spawns. And I think that's perhaps one of the reasons why a lot of people didn't like this map is it can have uh, quite unfortunate spawns. Um, so give me a minute here to take a look at the resources and see if they look okay. Um, so second hunt here for Kaiser Klein, quite far, but it's a same distance for Soldier. Soldier with a back hunt, and then a, kind of a second back hunt. Kaiser, I, I think these are fine. They look okay. Kaiser with perhaps, no, they're about the same. They're actually quite mirrored. Kaiser perhaps slightly worse, but at the same time, Kaiser has, well, let's see, that, that's his back on. Um, yeah, they're quite similar. This is like a side back on for Kaiser, while Soldiers is like, they're close enough. Um, but probably about as good as you can get on this map. Uh, hunts are just always pretty far on this map, so this is the second hunt for Kaiser, which is quite far. I mean, he does have that back hunt, though. But at the same time, look at Soldier, his second hunt, same distance, and yeah, also at the back hunt. So I think we'll be quite happy with this here. So let's take a look at the game. Uh, treasures, Kaiser Klein already getting a 75 food treasure and a uh, little monkey there. Soldier getting a 90 wood, very nice getting that 90 wood. And it looks like it was a wood start, 200 wood start. So Kaiser Klein is going to be able to build that training post in age one right away. He's now collecting his yaks here. 
and soldier uh, scouting across the map here. You just have 90 wood in the bank here. Not going to do anything with that 90 wood treasure initially. And this map does have quite a few good treasures. It has those uh, like 80, 90 wood treasures. Here's another 85 wood. Soldier unfortunately didn't scout. He just has two scouts. So um, we'll see he barely missed that treasure unfortunately. And then there is this big 80 coin that he uh, looks like he'll probably will be coming across here. Ooh, so there's also a 50, or Kai's Klein, a 50 wood right there. Very nice for Kai's Klein. Uh, not going for it right now. I'm sure you must have seen that. Maybe going for that a little bit later. Here we go. Soldier finding the 80 coin treasure. And it looks like I believe he will be going for this. There, yep, there he goes. Three settlers in for Soldier. Kai's Klein now going for that 50 wood. So, uh, very nice being able to get that 50 wood treasure there. And also using this monkey here to uh, scout is uh, actually quite good for a German, especially when you have to build a trading post in H1. Uh, so that's going to give Kaiser client a lot more uh, line of, not line of sight, but um, just scouting information. So quite an interesting matchup here: Spain versus German. It is, I, if I'm being completely honest, I would say it is quite heavy German favored. We've seen this matchup a couple times in this tournament so far. I know Soldier and Lord Raphael uh, played this matchup twice, and I think it was reverse. Soldier was Spain once versus Rafa's German, and then it was reverse with Rafa, Spain versus Soldier's German. And uh, I believe the German player won both of those games. Um, so I think this is quite a tough matchup for Spain. Uh, however, this map, you know, the hunts are quite far, so perhaps that can tr play into Spain's favor, and um, perhaps Soldier can make something happen here. We'll have to always see. This is a very unique map here, and lots of trading posts here. So we'll have to see how Soldier decides to play this one. We do have a market down for Soldier here in H1. Or, I mean, in the transition to uh, H2 at least. And it looks like Soldier does want to build a trading post here, so it goes ahead and takes that trading post. And we do not have a market down for Kaiser yet. He's actually going for two trading posts. Wow. So going quite greedy here. Not going for a market. A lot of times you'll see the German. Player build a market, you know, and after their initial trading post. But Kaiser Klein actually going for a second trading post here, and the Kaiser are saying that um, Soldier has ATP. He does have the card in his deck. He did not ship it yet, and uh, Soldier did build this top trading post up here. So let's we'll see if Soldier's gonna be going for more trading posts. What his game plan will be here? Did age up with um, with the tower here and 200 coin. To look at text completed, we do have hunting dogs in for soldier. And meanwhile, Kajkline now has his market up, so he'll be working on his a market upgrades himself here. And a forward stable. Look at this soldier pulling out the moves here. Going with a forward outpost and a forward stable here, building it with one villager. Starting to herd in a second hunt here. And soldier also on this 85 wood treasure. So this would be pretty nice picking this up. Um, just you know, helping him. Obviously, 85 wood, anytime you can get that, that's quite nice. Unfortunately, Kaiser Klein does scalp this stable right away. So Kaiser Klein is gonna know what's up. We'll have to see how Kaiser responds to this forward stable and tower. Can perhaps train. He does. He did open with a barracks here. I'm not sure if he added that barracks before we saw the stable. Uh, I, I think that barracks was built before even seeing the stable. So we'll have to see. Could it potentially even open up training dops? Let's take a look at what's in queue here. And yeah, we do have actually doppels in queue for Kaiser Klein. So I mean, that's going to directly counter the stable from Soldier. So Soldier going to have to be very careful with any hustlers on the map. He is now working on a barracks. 700 gold on the floor here for Soldier. Or was that, or that was for, yeah, that was for Soldier. Okay, it's right back there. And also 700 wood. Kaiser Klein shipping three cellar wagons is his first H2 shipment here. Kaiser Klein doing nice, or Soldier doing nice villager pull here, saving the villager. Very nice. 
Uh, very close there. Let's see. His villagers do not have great coats, though. You really want to get great coats anytime you're playing versus uh, playing versus German. And the Dops are going immediately to seize this this uh, outpost, and the soldiers are actually building a house, Ford House. So that's uh, a that, that that's something. Um, let's see what's in Q. He does have this barracks up. It's been up for a little bit. He does have muskets in Q, so. I'm not sure if these muskets... Oh, and then that villager does go down, unfortunately. Going in the tower, buying some time, actually. So, maybe the muskets will pop. <laughs> will this villager live? One dop is uh, nearly going down to the TC fire. Killing a cellar wagon there, actually. Really big uh, pickup there. Dop's going in cover mode. Muskets are now out. Villager trying to escape for his life. This is, this is a very smart man. He was near death. Went into the tower... And then somehow found his way out. Uh, very <laughs> smart villager over there. Uh, two Uans are trying to find them, though. And we do have a lot of dops out for Kazakhstan. These were all trained. None of these were shipped here. Muskets are out, though. So, soldier um, can try to hit these um, dops, but not get snared, obviously. One dop, very low HP. Good split from soldier here. Two Uans do come and actually put some muskets. Oh, and rats are here now. Very interesting trade here. Now that more dops are coming. Hustlers are going back in. And a two crossbows only were trained for Gosplein here. Oh, these dops can do a lot of damage. Though muskets were trained here. So, Soldier going to have to have good control here. And he's cleaning up these dops quite nice. Miniman being called by Gosplein. And an 8 expo shipment is called, is called uh does arrive. So, that is going to clean up these Hustlers. Did force a Miniman call, however. And the dops did get cleaned up here. I mean, it does look like it is a little bit laggy, perhaps, but, um, I mean, I can't, can't really say anything. I'm not dropping any frames. It's just me and the players, so, um, not really anything we can do here. Unless I found out if the players have anything open that would be causing lag, but, um, fortunately, it does look a little bit laggy. Um, We'll see if anything can be done after this game. But, yeah, like I said, no issues on my end. And we do have six rods shipped, followed by five rods. Casual client shipping 700 coin here. And, um, and it, I think it's go time for Soldier here. It looks like he is pushing. He's going in with, he does have five hustlers out too. Minmen are now at 1 HP also. So we'll have to see how... Kaiser Klein can hold here. Muskets are trailing behind, though, quite far. Uh, muskets really need to catch up here. Kaiser Klein getting some good shots off before this engage really began. Soldier trying to force it, but all oh, these crossbow men are getting so much worth. Spanish military is really struggling to get onto the German force here. And Soldier is just losing so many units here before the fight's really beginning. Three more Hussars, however, and four more muskets, so... Soldier trying to force the fight here. And Soldier with a pretty large mass here. Kaiser Klein, not a whole lot. Just two Ulan's train there. A couple more villagers potentially going down here. These Minutemen still all alive. But the German army is just firing away while the Spanish really aren't isn't doing much. And there's five dops. I felt like the Spanish army just was not fighting for so long. Or they were perhaps just firing at villagers. Slash kind of walking. And, um... Perhaps not the best control from Soldier here. It does seem a little bit laggy, so that could, of course, be causing some issues. Three dops now shipped, and Kaiser Klein is just going to completely clean this up. It looked like it could have been really good for Soldier, but he just took so long to really start that engage. Um, he just bought Kaiser Klein the time that he needed. I think Soldier was actually in a really good spot. Uh, just not the best unit control, though, and his units just weren't really attacking for so long. They were just kind of walking around while, meanwhile, Soldier's entire, meanwhile, Kaiser Klein's entire army was, you know, firing away and doing damage. Uh, so, definitely not the best fight there for Soldier, um, and that's that's really big. A couple of Sutter Wagons are exposed here, three Hustlers going back in, but, I mean, Soldier losing his entire force, and now he's got two Ford military buildings and a house, a random house. Of course, question why this is here. Um, oh, and the two hustlers. Oh, they did not find the two cellar wagons. 
five settlers being shipped for soldier and yeah soldiers are just losing that fight so um so one-sided that uh, it's gonna be tough after that and uh yeah what if we would really look at the military graph i mean i think soldier had like definitely in more military population i feel like by quite a substantial amount but uh, his control in the fight was very poor perhaps due to the lag uh, but definitely went much better for Kajiklan than it really should have, I'd say. Both players now starting to get pretty far out on the map here for resources. Um, but yeah, soldiers military is not there it's got le uh, half the military and it's caused to climb that house being seeds down and then even this barracks rebuilt really forward um not sure when the second rex was built but uh Klein is getting snared off uh scared off here initially and there's not that many crossbowmen and kaiser's army is very heavy in dops meanwhile soldier really doesn't have that many hussars so uh, perhaps Soldier can kind of crawl back into this game? We'll have to see here. New lines are moving on out looking for villagers here. And there are quite a lot of villagers exposed for soldiers. So this actually could be uh, a game-changing raid here. Soldier moving out with his two hustlers trying to find some villagers themselves for himself. Uh, picking off a dop here. Nice little trade. But yeah, looks like these three villagers are going to go down for Soldier, and that's pretty painful. Kaj Klein looking to force this fight here. Soldier retreating um, pretty effectively there. And all of a sudden, Soldier did put together a pretty large mass very quickly and very heavy muskets while like i said there's not that many crossbow men for kaiser klein so i don't know perhaps soldier can force a fight and it, it could go really well for soldier it'll really depend on the control with these dops if kaiser klein can get the dops on top of this army but uh soldier splitting his pike so he may want them in this fight going for the trading post all oh, just more villagers exposed here to these two ulans so it can get so much worth and uh, this is actually going to be very rough for Soldier. Kai's Klein is going H3 right now. So this is a time for Soldier to try to make something happen. This is probably his uh, kind of last chance. He really needs to make something happen here. And he is pushing as Kai's Klein is aging. So uh, he does have that going for him. So many villagers going down to these two Ulans. And so difficult to, to stop this because... On this map, the resources are so far out that, you know, it's very difficult to catch these two Ulans. And, and Soldier just doesn't really have any Hussars anymore, so... Uh, these two Ulans just causing so much trouble. It's insane how much value they're getting. Kaj Klein now in Fortress. Soldier does see this. And uh, how is Soldier going to respond to this? However, Kaj Klein is popped right now. I believe he just lost a house too. I think that was an, another random house from Kaiser Clan. These players have been building some questionable houses. And the one Ulan left. Oh, he's going to get another villager before he goes down. So lots of raids there. Soldier killing the tower here. And we'll have to see what shipment comes out from Kaiser Clan here. Economic theory now shipped for, for Soldier. There are a lot of villagers exposed. Soldier just missing these villagers on this gold mine. Upgraded dops. We have veteran dops on the field. But there's really no cab for Soldier. Two more houses far out. So perhaps the play is for Soldier to siege these houses down. Um, Kaiser Klein's villagers are doing a lot of walking time here. And there's eight skirmishers, though, and that is going to actually do a lot to Soldier's army. Um, you see, he really just has pure muskets, and I mean, some crossbowmen, 
And um, Kaiser Klein now moving out. Two houses do go down. It is housing Kaiser Klein, so um, not able to really train anything here. For the time being, at least. Oh, crossbowmen are getting caught here for soldier. That's definitely unfortunate. He's going to lose those crossbowmen. And uh, muskets are actually finding the Ulans here. There it might be enough Ulans to clean this up. Maybe a beneficial trade for soldier. Even some cellar wagons punching here. Soldier doing a good job putting the muskets onto the Ulans and making sure they don't go onto the slayer wagons and uh, just retasking them when they did go back onto the slayer wagons. Uh, Kaiser Klein ultimately cleaning that up. Pretty even trade. But Kaiser Klein is an H3 here. He does have skirmishers now. He's access to skirmishers and uh, skirmishers is basically just a direct counter to Soldier's army. So Soldier probably should have tried to push him sooner. Um, however, he is floating a lot of food right now. Perhaps looks like he's trying to age up, but he doesn't have any gold right now. Actually, perhaps Miss Macrody is adding in a stable now. And so, or Kaiser Klein looking like he wants to cross the map here. <laughs> so, you're going for the musket raids here. That is a lot of muskets. Perhaps you can just run Kaiser Klein around the map trying to find villagers. And that looks like that is what Soldier's game plan is, at least for the time being. We'll have to see how effective it is. Uh, one Slayer Wagon is really low HP there. I mean, it definitely can be a good strategy, but at the same time, you know, skirms are out. They can pick off the muskets quite easily. Now, more skirms join the field. Uh, once the wagon does go down, it looks like perhaps the second one might go down here. The Dops are moving in here, however. And will the Cellular Wagon go down? It does go down. So, eco-wise, it is quite even. This CC is getting seized down, though, and this is actually going to go down very quickly. Um, Soldier actually did start spending his rest, so maybe he wasn't looking to do an age up. But yeah, the CC is going to go down extremely quickly. Five dogs are trained. Soldier kind of going in, but he's going to have to retreat here. Hopefully, he'll pull his husk back. Does not want to send these husks in without the rest of his army. Just needs to give up on the town center. Hussars are really going in there. Soldier not noticing. And another batch of hussars being trained, but need to wait for the rest of your army to uh, have a chance here. And perhaps these muskets can get us around with the hussars. We'll have to see. A lot of hussars going down there. If all of them would have waited... I think that was about eight hussars, but unfortunately, like two, like three of them went down before uh, before the muskets arrived. Could have perhaps got a better surround with uh, all those hussars being alive, uh, waiting for the muskets to arrive. Uh, skirmishers are hitting and running here, and there's not many hussars left. So, Vils, yes, can we get some AOE two walls or something? I was thinking that earlier when the army was here, imagine if the village just like placed a wall or something. Those perhaps just getting pulled to a new resource spot. So those are perhaps could have like placed a wall here as Kaiser Clan's army was retreating. That that would have been really uh, fun and interesting to see. Uh, getting a couple good shots on the Dops here. Five hussars are trained. Perhaps the path in here can make something happen. Quite even, Kaiser Klein trying to just retreat here. Husser is getting on the front line here, trying to connect with the snare. Muskets trailing behind them here. Dops moving in now, trying to get on top of the Hussars. Muskets are catching up though. And will Kaiser be able to retreat here? And here are Black Riders though, however. And they will be able to do quite a bit of damage here. Uh, and all of a sudden, that, that is massive. Obviously, the mercenaries arrived for Kaiser Klein. And now, Soldier. Uh, Perhaps not in the best situation here with just pure muskets losing some villagers. And soldier now forced to retreat here. And uh, it was looking okay for soldier there for a bit, but now all of a sudden this game does starting to look quite one sided here when Black Riders have arrived. And uh, Ulan's still on the map here. Soldier doing a good job. Uh, some of these hussars actually get a, do a raid. 
Black Riders are going to be able to respond to that. They are across on the other side of the map, so it will be a little while before they arrive, so perhaps a couple of German villagers will go down in the process. However, there are also... Uh, actually, no, there are not that many Uhans. Actually, there's no Uhans left, so... Um, not a ton of raiding potential for Kaja Klein. He does have anti-raiders, so Black Riders. Soldier doing a good job with raids here, but Black Riders now on the field, and it's going to make raiding very difficult. Rods are here. Muskets, once again, Soldier, um, yeah, now he's grouping up. He kind of keeps tossing away units. Um, oh, here's five skirms exposed. If Soldier sees this, he could respond. Soldier with two shipments stacked, but perhaps he doesn't have anything to ship. Rods trying to connect the snare here. There are quite a lot of rods, but there are a lot of skirms here in Black Riders, and I think this is going to go quite well for the German military here. As there's just too many German forces here, and there is the GG. So game three does go to Kaiser Klein. Kaiser Klein going up 2-1 in this best of seven here. Yeah, I don't believe I'm not dropping any frames. Um, I'm gonna take a look at the chat. There haven't been any issues with the stream, correct? Let me know. I'll try to read through the chat, but um, I don't know. Perhaps just our connections, us three, not the best. But yeah, the light definitely doesn't look uh, ideal. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure there's anything I can do. Alright, I will be right back. I'm going to grab some water and we'll get into the next one. Yeah, I think Soldier and Kaiser often lag uh, together quite a bit. Maybe more so on Soldier's end. I, I don't know. Okay, um, what's the map there? Alright, so the map will be... Alright, so this is game four. Kaiser's Clan currently up to one. Uh, game four is going to be played on Herald Island. And let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Kaiser Klein. Let's see what civilization Kaiser Klein gets here in game four. Kaiser Klein getting the Spanish civilization. And this wheel is loving the Spain tonight. Alright, let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Soldier and see what civilization Soldier gets here in game four. Soldier getting Eero. Alright, so we have Kaiser Klein playing as the Spain. <sighs> Soldier playing as the Iroquois, and we are playing on Herald Island. Let's see, neither looks like neither player is gonna use their respin. 
All right, guys. We're getting into game four here. This is the GUA October 2019 subscriber tournament. This is the bronze match. There's a $40 prize pool up for third place. So the winner of this best of seven will get $40 and uh, third place. Loser will get nothing. Kaiser Klein currently up 2-1. And uh, game four here, playing on Herald Island. Kaiser Klein playing as a Spain. Soldier playing as the Iroquois Civilization. Quite an interesting one here. We do not see this matchup very often. Spain, uh, one of the less least less played civs. And uh, let's see, this is Soldier up in the north here, playing as Iroquois. Kaiser Klein down in the south, playing as the Spanish. And it looks like it is um, a 200 wood start for the Spain. And Kaiser Klein deciding not to build a trading post. Quite interesting. Actually opening with a market. I feel like that is uh, not standard. He does have 50 coins, so he's able to get hunting dogs very easily. But going for a market rather than a uh, trading post. That's quite interesting. I, I'm quite surprised by that. I would, I would expect the Spanish to build a trading post uh, rather than going for market and hunting dogs. But we're actually seeing Kaiser Klein going for the market here. Meanwhile, Soldier is going for the trading post himself. And he does have his trivial. Looks like he converted a polar bear already. Getting quite a bit of sky information here. Soldier actually doing some pretty early hurting here. Hurting his second hunt. Um, kind of questionable, I feel like, to be honest. Generally, you want to just stay on your first hunt uh, just to get your age up quicker because the walking time here, you know, means that your villagers are just gathering less, you know, spending less time gathering since they're walking here and herding. Usually, you wait till you're in age two or wait till you start aging up to herd in your second hunt, but uh, sort of just trying to herd them in a bit sooner here. And he is going for this 40 coin charge. It looks like he just doesn't want it to get stolen. He's not going to use this coin here in age one, but he just doesn't want the Spanish explorer to kind of run around here and, and end up stealing a 40 coin. So soldier is signing to uh, just spend the builder seconds and just go walk and pick that up. He did also build his house back at home here, the trivial that he had. And looks like he's going to pick up a 100 wood charger, which is going to be quite nice here. He does have two polar bears. Meanwhile, Kaiser, oh, Kaiser Klein actually getting a villager treasure, so that is also very nice. So we're doing a lot of herding here in age one. Uh, okay, <laughs> seems a little strange to me, but. Yeah, soldier surprised by the villager treasure. Uh, 90 coin treasure, nice little pick up for a soldier. So obviously getting the villager treasure very nice. But soldier also getting some pretty good treasures himself, 100 wood and uh, what was that? That was 100 wood I believe, right? That was like, yep, 100 wood and then 90 coin, pretty good there. Getting these two bears here, just converting. And we do have a market now for Soldier. Oh wow, he actually built that before aging up because he did get the 100 wood treasure. Um, but he's not aging up yet. And I don't think he's not going to be hunting dogs either. So that was kind of weird. Uh, honestly, he. Okay, he now. Oh, he does have hunting dogs in queue. So he did have enough gold. I, I thought he would have to gather gold for the hunting dogs. But no, it looks like just due to the treasures, he ended up having enough for a market on, and hunting dogs. So. He decided to build a market before even uh, aging up to H2, so you can get that hunting dogs a little bit quicker. Kaiser Klein in position, ooh, to build this trading post. He starts building it, but Soldier's right here, and the Explorer's already low HP. War Dog is nearby. Where are those polar bears? Uh, both across the map, and uh, yeah, now Kaiser Klein using his free villager to build this trading post. So it looks like it will ultimately get up. Polar Bear is getting sharp shot here. Explorer is gonna probably is gonna go down here. 
uh, but Kaiser Klein actually will. Wow. <laughs> so that's actually quite lucky for Kaiser Klein, or um, I suppose the word word I I would choose is lucky um, that he did get that villager treasure, and he, he was already hurting over here. So he did get his explorer killed, and it would have denied the TP for quite a while. Uh, but Kaiser Klein having this villager over here already was uh, saved a lot of walking time that he otherwise would have had to use. And he does snare the explorer right away as soon as he gets back up. So this could be a nice uh, cleanup here for Soldier. I mean, killing the explorer a second time, just getting that XP. And, yeah, just getting that XP and, and uh, preventing that suit, that um, Spanish explorer, you know, from doing any scouting or training any dogs in the meantime. And, wow, look at this. Soldier going with a Ford War Hut here, converting the wolf, getting this 40 food treasure. And Kaiser Klein building the outpost very defensively and is um, right around his base here. So let's see, is Soldier going to be very aggressive here? No, he's actually shipping five villagers, so perhaps a fake. Oh, but he is big buttoning. Okay. So I, I we've been seeing Eero play like this way uh, quite a bit recently, where they ship like five villagers, they go ego focus, but at the same time, they can very easily big button. And since they have the Ford War from the Trevial, they can big button and then put Tomahawks immediately onto the trading post. And now he did actually train, uh, no, he shipped six Tomahawks, so he is definitely going to seize down this trading post, which is going to feel pretty good. It's really going to slow down the shipment curve uh, for the Spanish here. And now he's actually training uh, some Ayana, uh, so Soldier really going to keep up the aggression here. He did ship the five villagers, but he is really keep putting the aggression on here. Take a look at attacks completed. Both of them just sitting on hunting dogs here. Kaiser Klein already up to on his way up to H3 though. And he is building barracks very quickly here with four villagers actually. And throwing down a couple houses here. Whoa, this house. There you go. He deletes that one. Uh, so the trading post is down. Spanish Explorer is back alive and well. Low HP, however. Polar bear moving around. We got a wolf. We got a wolf, polar bear, and a dog all right next to each other here. Wolf does go down. Soldier now pushing in, and I think he's just going to go and siege down this outpost. And yeah, Soldier is going to go ahead and siege down the outpost. It is very defensively, obviously. Uh, but Kaiser Klein only halfway up to H3, and it's you know just a regular slow age up. And we do have six rods being shipped here. However, Soldier is going to get, oh, canceled the valley there, unfortunately, but does go on to the Villager, and that tower goes down very quickly. Villager does survive there. Soldier, oh, nearly losing his Explorer, taking a lot of damage there. And the Rods are here. Soldier going to try to force a fight here, potential Minutemen call from Kaiser Klein. However, Kaiser Klein doesn't have enough gold for Minutemen, and every Villager is inside the town center right now. He's going to be H3 pretty soon here, so um, got to assume it's probably going to be the four Hussars rather than the eight Pikemen. He is trying to put Villagers onto gold, so there he goes. He has enough resources for Minimen. Age up is about to come in, so let's see how he can position this. The Muskets and his units are quite far away, though, however. Age up looks like he has a little bit more time, though. Try and position, get everything set up. There's the Minimen call. Hussars are about to pop out from the Age up. No, it's the eight Pikemen. Eagle at crack shot coming in from the Iroquois Explorer here. And let's see how this turns out. Pikemen are actually just running away here. Not even tanking in cover mode or anything. More Iroquois units coming in. Another batch of five Tomahawks. And this is looking really good for Soldier here. And eight Pikemen. I, it's kind of questionable. Kaiser just, I guess, deciding he didn't want to throw away these Pikemen. But they obviously could have tanked quite a bit if they were in cover mode. They would have uh, had the chance to tank a lot of damage there. And the polar bear spotting this army trying to retreat. And here's four Kanye now coming in for Soldier. And as it looks like Kaiser Klein is nearly out of options here. And without a trading post, this shipment's two cannons. Here we go. Wanted to keep the eight pikemen alive to protect the two cannons. So that was the logic behind Kaiser Klein's choice decision there. Kanye are going to try to move in and just get on top of the cannons though. Pikes, just four pikes left alive here. They were doing a pretty good job working on, but there you go. All the pikes are gone, and one cannon very quickly going down. Second cannon about to go down, and this looks very good for Soldier. No trading post for a Spain, so those shipments are becoming in very slow here. 
in this Iroquois aggression. So I ended up shipping five villagers, but then went heavy military. He's now backing off, doesn't want to uh, overcommit, it seems. Realizes he's done a lot of damage already here. Kaiser Klein getting upset here. Four, five Lancers are shipped here for Kaiser Klein. Soldier out on his hunts, able to get out on the map uh, very safely. Meanwhile, you know, Kaiser Klein obviously confined to his base here. And there's a big crate shipment for Soldier, so that is uh, quite a bit of resources here. If he gets time to really, you know, put these resources into uh, units, into value, that's obviously will be quite beneficial. Bastard Force Skirmisher is trained here for Kaiser Klein. Kaiser Klein going to be going through these hunts. He does have um, a decent amount of food left here, but we'll have to uh, start moving out on the map after that. Ooh, 125 food that uh, Kaiser didn't spot or at least didn't go for early on. And wow, look at that eco population. It is very in favor of Soldier. So I think Soldier making a good move here, playing, uh, you know, just shipping the resources and backing off here. Uh, he's getting his Kanye is caught here, however. He's going to kill a Spanish Explorer, but getting all three Kanye is caught. But building a fire pit. Is he still on just the War Hut here? It looks like he is still on the War Hut. But he is now macroing for the age up. So, and he does have the fast age up available still, I believe. Um, so yeah, he's going to be able to age up. He is now adding a stable back at home. So I think this is really good. This is exactly what soldiers should be doing. He knows the Spanish doesn't have a trading post and, uh, yeah, the Spain can get their, you know, shipments coming in pretty quickly, but without the trading posts, the Spanish kind of like death ball shipment force, it won't be anywhere near as strong as it typically would be. So soldier knows he has the better eco. And um, just backing off, and he doesn't even really care if this Warhawk gets killed. Of course, you know, you want to try to keep it up, but he's building one over here in anticipation anyways. Yeah, um, I mean, it's not the... It does look quite a bit laggy. It's not horrible, horrible lag, but... Um, Obviously, never fun playing in a lag. Perhaps we can maybe players can restart their computers after this game or something. We'll see if uh, if we can try to figure something out to uh, you know to minimize the lag here. But soldier playing this quite smart, um, just backing off here. And yeah, like I said, he doesn't really mind losing this. It's better to just back off. Don't get your army caught and snared. Just let this war hood kind of go down. You're gonna have a backup one here, anyways. And you're now aging up, and you have Corral back at home. Tomahawks, this is quite dangerous. They're going in for a potential raid here. Oh my god, is this village going to die to a polar bear here? We got a villager on polar bear war here, and it's going to be a close one. Looks like the villager will survive here. Getting that 125 wood, always nice. I mean, this looks like this could be a nice counter raid, but at the same time, it could get completely cleaned up by Lancers. But killing two villagers will feel pretty nice. And, uh, oh, Kaiser on top of it right away, though. And running with these villagers. More villagers are coming this way, though. It is going to force Kaiser Klein to split his force. And nope, he's saying he's not going to deal with the raid. And he wants to just push everything in on Soldier. So it turns out to be quite good raid here. Soldier, oh, he does not notice, though, letting these two villagers get away. And, okay, now he just looks like he saw it. Uh, responding a little bit late. Soldier now up to H3, though. And he has a shipment available and almost even a second shipment. So I think he's going to be looking pretty good. Kaiser Klein about to have his shipment available. Two villagers look like they will go down here. Looking at the military mass, it is definitely in favor of Kaiser Klein right now. So it's going to be a matter. And that actually was not the slow age up for Soldier. I thought, I thought he um, had it. But no, lots of resources on the field here. Soldier really needs to gather his up before it's too late. He only has one villager on them. Now a second one. But War Hut being built. It looks like it's being built a bit forward here, unfortunately. And it might just get sieged down right away. He does have this other one, but yeah, that's definitely not good. This warhead going down immediately. He could have built it behind the town center. Obviously, it would have been much safer. And we'll have to see how much damage the Spanish army can do here. 
musky riders, five musky riders trained, and five musky riders just shipped. Another shipment available now for soldiers. So he is going to get a big spike in military from these shipments, and uh, does have quite a bit of resources. And there we go, four, five uh, forest prowlers trained. Five prowlers were shipped for Kaiser Klein here. Looks like the crown may go down. I think Soldier really needs to buy time. He's a much better eco here. Rod's getting caught here. This is good for Soldier. Lancer's going to try to catch these Forest Prowlers. However, his Musky Riders are coming in just in time here. Tomahawks are here. Military mass is pretty even here. Four, five more Forest Prowlers here I think will be really big in this fight. And six Kanye Horsemen. And this is going to go good for Soldier. And I think this could potentially be clean up here. Five Hustlers arriving. Kaiser Klein sees this. And it is just the GG clean up here. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like it is a bit laggy, but like I said, I mean, uh, there's nothing I can do on my end. Uh, it's... And anyways, game four going to Soldier here, so we're tied up at 2-2. Yeah, soldier saying uh, his computer's running fine. No issues on his end. Um, yeah, maybe just be our connections. I don't know. Never know. All right, soldier relogging. Um, actually, head killer. That is a good idea. I, I need a second to step away here. All right, we'll be right back after a quick commercial break from our sponsors, and then we'll get into the next game.
All right, we are back. Uh, currently tied 2-2, two -two, so this is game five. Game five we played on Tibet, and we're going to spin the wheel for Kaiser Klein. Let's see what civilization Kaiser Klein gets here in game five. Kaiser Klein getting the Dutch civilization. And let's spin the wheel for Soldier. Let's see what Civilization Soldier gets here in Game 5. Soldier getting the Sioux Civilization. Alright, Dutch versus Sioux. Quite interesting. So both players do both still have their reset, their respin available. We are in Game 5 here, so not many games left. So we'll have to see, do either player choose to use their respin here. Quite an interesting matchup here. All right, both players clicking into it. Kaiser Klein actually commenting, saying it's on Tibet. Gonna be lots of fun. Um, you know, perhaps meaning that he is not happy with the matchup, but he also does not choose to use his respin. So, uh, Dutch on Tibet, don't think it's, I think they're quite good. You know, they're not super food reliant, and the hunts are, on this map typically are quite bad. So, um, I, I think Dutch can be a quite a good sip here. But Sue uh, definitely can be very good themselves, since the hunts are very far, and they're a very good rating set. So, I'm going to take a close eye on these hunts, and let's see. Um, so we have one side hunt, I guess that's the side hunt, and I guess both players have one back hunt. I mean, I feel like it's a lower hunt to bet than typical, a lot of times players have two back hunts, but it looks like, I mean, this is a kind of a far back hunt, but this is also a far back hunt, and it's a kind of around the cliff. So I'd say the back hunts, yeah, the back hunts look very similar, and then the sec, and then let's see, we have a second hunt quite far. And then second hunt quite far, so it looks like the hunts are actually very similar here. I think we're pretty good. And then what would be like third hunts? There's like a far, far one here, and then the, like another a far one for him also. So yeah, I think the hunts are looking quite uh, fair here. It looks like it is perhaps a lower hunt to bet than usual. A lot of times you have like two back hunts. I mean, I guess he kind of does, but the, it's just like the second back hunt for both players is like really far. So it, it appears like a lower hunt Tibet than um, than most Tibets, but they do have mirrored hunts, so uh, it is even. And then both player with, players with back gold mine, and and kind of two side ones. So yeah, uh, it looks quite even here. But yeah, that could come into play. The hunts, you know, obviously on this map, not the best, and uh, and yeah, their third hunts. Both players have quite far third hunts. All right, so we have Sue versus Dutch here. Quite interesting one. Kaiser or Soldier playing as a Sioux up in the north. Kaiser Klein playing as a Dutch down in the south here. We do have the Sioux Explorer running around the map here, trying to do as much as he can. So you look at this treasure. Soldier already getting an 85 wood. Very nice. Kaiser Klein getting a 30 coin. So Soldier um, up in the treasure game so far. Gotta keep a close eye on that Sioux Explorer. There he goes. Gets out of there. And uh, I think Soldier will be feeling pretty comfortable here. It's funny. I, I People don't talk about this much, but back in the day, Sioux, Soldier, Soldier's main civilization back in the day was Sioux. Like, keep, it was quite funny. It was when, when Sioux was very underplayed, like, years back. And uh, Soldier was kind of well known for Sioux. I think it was played a lot differently than like you know today's Sioux or even EP Sioux, you know Sioux in the recent years. But the old school Sioux, um, yeah, Soldier played it a lot and uh, he was known for it. Uh, he hasn't played Sioux a, oh that that much you know since EP has been around since ESOC days have been around. So Soldier hasn't played a ton of Sioux, but yeah, back in the days uh, Sioux used to be Soldier's go-to. Uh, so I think Soldier will be feeling a bit comfortable here. He, he's got that veteran. Old school Sioux knowledge under his belt. And uh, Kaiser playing as Dutch. 
Kaiser are quite comfortable with you know just about all European saves, and we've seen him play Dutch uh, already in game one here. So I don't think he's not too much out of his element. I think he'll be feeling uh, fairly comfortable with the Dutch civilization. But we'll have to see how they play out here. Honestly, I think um, it's a quite interesting matchup. Uh, I feel like I want to say this is maybe is Sue favored, especially on a map with where the hunts are very far out. Uh, I think this is going to benefit the Sioux, and I think Sue may have the advantage here. And uh, Kazakhline, I will say his micro is very good, probably uh, potentially the best micro from any player in the entire game. But I think one of his weaknesses is that he, he doesn't always respond the best to raids. Um, sometimes he might get too focused on the micro, and uh, he can lose a lot of villagers to raids sometimes. As we were kind of seeing earlier in this series, so we're doing a good job uh, raiding quite a bit of villagers. And uh, Sue is, you know, really good about raiding here with the hunts far out. That, that could um, that could really emphasize how many villagers Kaiser Klein may lose in this game due to raids. So we'll have to see how good of a job Soldier can do here with his uh, cavalry and uh, just trying to pick off villagers. Building three three TPs here, and uh, now in market here, both players on their way up to H2. Sue Explorer, quite low HP, but he's going to actually kill off the send boy, so that's nice. Kaiser Klein scouting, seeing what's going on. Soldier's home base here. And meanwhile, we do have the first bank up for Kaiser Klein, 400 wood coming in from the Age of Politician and uh, getting on top of it, hurting his second hunt. As I uh, really need to do that, as obviously the hunts are quite far here for both players. Soldier hurting the back hunt here, and uh, yeah. It's Kaiser Klein coming across an 80 coin charger. He is going to start this. Sharp shoots one. Let's see, is that Sue Explorer around? No, he is not. Building trading posts. Uh, and then look, perhaps we'll get this 40 wood treasure here. Second bank coming down for Kaiser Klein here. Not really making too many walls with them. Uh, just actually putting it right up against this gold mine. Villager, there he goes now. Starts getting on it. 700 wood out for Kaiser Klein as his first age 2 shipment. And we'll have to see what Soldier does for his first aid to shipment. Now building a corral back at home. And a barracks going down for Kaiser Klein. Soldier is going to spot this with his tiger. And also a market here for Kaiser Klein. So it's going to be good. Soldier is going to be going to know what's going on early here. And we have five villagers for Soldier. Kaiser Klein being on top of it with his scout though. He's going to see the stable. And uh, not sure if he was able to see or take note that that was a five builder shipment. Take a look at text completed here. Do you have hunting dogs and placer mines for soldiers? So soldier playing this really eco focused initially, uh, shipping five villagers, getting hunting dogs, placer mines, a trading post, and perhaps he'll be looking to go up to H three uh, quickly here. And a bank wagon out for Kaiser Klein. Here we go. Now these natural walls are really coming down for Kaiser Klein. We're seeing them. Um, five pikes were trained here for Kaiser Klein, so perhaps this is what Soldier wants in the previous game. He was hoping that Kaiser Klein would, you know, train pikes in response. Uh, this warship may get snared here by the pikes, however, and the warship is gonna go down. That is unfortunate. Soldier is not able to retreat there. Um, at the very least, he is aware of these five pikes, but yeah, that warship going down, uh, definitely not ideal. And it looks like he did train a batch of four axe riders. And now shipping 700 coin. And five skirmishers trained for Kaiser, so he's going to be playing the stage two a bit. Axe riders looking to raid, but pikes are here. Oh, and you do not want to get these axe riders caught. Not the best control from Soldier, kind of uh, not paying attention to his axe riders as he was sending them directly underneath the town center there. So, not the best control, losing an axe rider completely for free. Uh, but he is going to perhaps get a villager here on the other end. It's going to be close. And he does get a villager, so nice uh, one villa raid there and retreating with these two axe riders. And also actually causing these suit. Oh, these villagers going far out shooting. Uh, a little bit of walking time, extra walking time here for Kaiser. One extra rider does escape. And we have five boat riders trained here. So Soldier uh, decided to stay two for a bit. Thought he might have just gone straight up to H3 after the five initial axe riders. But 
Trying to try to put on some aggression here. Casual Klein adding in the stable here. He does have just about enough resources to age up here, so he's gonna be clicking up to H3 any second here. And meanwhile, Soldier training another batch of bow riders, so it doesn't look like Soldier is gonna be going H3. It looks like he's focused on H2 play here. Kaiser Klein really safe in his base though. I mean he will have to move out soon, but uh, he might have enough time to I mean get everything he needs. He's gonna be having a unit shipment as soon as he hits H3. He still has uh you know quite a quite a bit of hunt here really. And he does have these jacks that he can even use, so I mean he's probably got maybe uh, a thousand food at least in hunt in his base. And then if he decides to use the yaks, this is probably like another thousand food, so he can it can be quite a while before he's like absolutely forced to leave his base, and uh, it might be just enough time that the Dutch needs. We'll have to see, but wow, look at this Sioux Mass in H2 here. A lot of bull riders here, five axe riders. And perhaps Soldier can have a good timing push here. We do have a shipment on the way, probably assuming it's the nine Reuter shipment. We do have ten skirms out. Kaiser Klein is going to see these... The Sioux army, he's going to try to position his skirmishers. It's going to be tough to get on top of these skirms. There are only five pikes. Men can, of course, be called here. Will Soldier try to fully commit? He does call, draw the five Min Men call, which is very nice. And Soldier potentially just getting away right away. Yeah, a huge, a uh, little bit of a freezer. I mean, I don't, there's not much I, more I can say about this. Unfortunately, it's been lagging throughout the series, but. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on my end that I can do about that. Four Reuters were trained. And there is nine Reuters shipments. Soldier trying to find some villagers, but uh, Kaiser just hasn't left his base, his base yet. And now it looks like Soldier's macroing for the H3 here. But will he have enough time? A Ford Warhut going down. And this will be big. Will Soldier be able to delay this in attack? Soldier perhaps going to go back in the base. Kaiser Klein crossing the map here. Uh, not a giant army of Soldier State H2. He might have, actually, might have been better off since, I mean, this is a kind of a questionable move by Kaiser crossing the entire map here. But perhaps it feels like he needs to push. Uh, thankfully, Warhut is getting up without being spotted. Age up just now in for Soldier. And now Soldier sees Kaiser Klein's entire military force. Pushing his town center, so how will Soldier respond here? He's a large raiding mass. Oh no, and look at Kaiser Klein's Explorer potentially going to find all of these villagers here. Uh, this is the fast age up from Soldier, so he will be up to H3 pretty soon, and he does have a shipment available. Uh, Kaiser Klein about to get a shipment himself. Soldier with about a shipment and a half here. Warhut also gets spotted here. And here we go, trying to pick off some villagers. Five skirmishers were training it with a batch of two Reuters, so this could potentially be a very nice cleanup for a soldier. Kind of picking up like five skirms and two Reuters for nearly for free. It's actually very nice. Kaiser Klein responding by sending his Reuters back here, though. Uh, pretty even trade here. Warchief is back up health with uh, nearly 800 health. Perhaps a slightly better trade for Kaiser Klein here. Now, soldier maybe want to back off with the, with the bull riders here. Uh, so actually, all in all, perhaps that was an even, uh, maybe even a Kaiser Klein win. Uh, hard to say. Warha is being sieged down here. Kaiser Klein sending all of his villagers back out, all of them idled. And uh, yeah, going to have to really start getting out of the map here in a little bit. As the last hunts are running up, he does have these cows. We'll have to see if he decides to eat these cows or if he's going to go on the hunt. Axe Rider's in perfect position. Now, are they going to catch the villagers? Thousand wood. Very risky thousand wood from Kaiser Klein as the villagers are getting really far out of the map. Really ballsy to ship thousand wood rather than like a unit shipment. And this might play in the soldiers' uh, hands here as he's getting a very nice raid with these Axe Riders. And it's going to be about, it's going to really be about who has a more military and who's able to control the map. As both players are forced to really get out on the map to gather resources. And cleaning up quite a few villagers there. Very nice. The single axe rider spotting the entire army too. So it's going to 
uh, for you know allow soldier to know that he has to retreat with his um, whole uh, army here. Another bank going down for Kazuklein. Looking at the ecos, they are quite similar here. Warhut did go down. Three dog soldiers shipped for soldier here, and uh, after the nine walking, it looks like we don't have a, a second Warhut. A Warhut was never rebuilt for soldier, so he's just only on that one stable here. And we have a second stable for Kazuklein. A couple houses going down around this gold mine, perhaps uh, some kind of choke points to pre help prevent raids here. Very smart thinking. Kaiser Klein really forced to get out on the map for these hunts and the second gold mines, but he does have his cows, so he is now starting to eat these CX. Uh, military population is actually quite in favor of Soldier right now, and Egos are pretty similar, so perhaps this game is looking good for Soldier. We'll have to see. Wait and see. Thousand Wood. Perhaps it looks like Kaiser Klein is maybe getting away with this Thousand Wood, um, as there weren't any fights being forced here. Soldier now building a war hut. And at the same time, every kind of second that goes by, we're getting closer and closer to the 15 minute mark, which allows the Sioux to get, use their big button. I mean, they could call it sooner, but it gets the maximum uh, amount of dog soldiers at 15 minutes. And uh, that is obviously a giant boost to the Sioux army. War Hut is now being built for soldier at home. Military populations are quite even here. Kaiser Klein looking to go for a raid here. We'll have to see how Soldier responds to this. Oh, he's actually moving his army across on the other side of the map. So he's going to be out of position for the uh, beginning of this raid. Looks like he's going to lose some villagers. Soldier has to respond to this quickly. Uh, he's going to lose at least one, two villagers here. Perhaps all, perhaps looks like maybe four or five villagers going down here. So definitely a nice raid here from Kaiser Klein. Uh, said, but so the Soldier deciding to kind of just go all in here we're just looking for villagers it, it seems like we got a house out here look uh, just for some line of sight prevent raids cavalry combat in for soldier and nice little single wall segment soldier looking trying to find those villagers uh, might catch these 10 Reuters which could be a really nice cleanup so uh, guys are actually pulling them back as you saw with the uh, the house line of sight, huge, perhaps saving 10 Reuters, which is massive. Going to pick off a villager here. And there are more villagers exposed here, so this could be a good trade. Reuters coming in here. Bow Riders getting on top of the villagers, and they are great raiders. So these villagers are actually all going to go down very quickly. Uh, a few more villagers here. The Reuters are not coming, so may force soldier to retreat. Joaquin is not really in position here. Don't want to fight this with just the Bow Riders and the Reuters. I mean, this could be a pretty close to trade. We do have uh, carded and upgraded elite bow riders versus the Reuters, but I think there is just more Reuters here. I don't think Soldier really wants to fight this. And now the Skirmisher Mass joining in. So, and now a couple of Reuters connecting with the snare here. Soldier trying to retreat. Going to lose a couple of Reuters while trying to come down from Kaiser Klein, just not in time though. However, Axe Riders moving out. Ooh, there is an outpost built here. Pretty clutch from Kaiser. But in the meantime, Kajakan kind of running with his villagers, retasking his vills. A little couple scrims, uh, getting some good hits on these uh, bull riders, actually. Oh, and these bull riders are getting picked off by the skirmishers. Not what Soldier wants here. Losing quite a few here. Going to pick up a couple. Oh, and even his dog soldiers and axe riders getting caught with the Sioux Explorer. So all of a sudden, this is looking kind of good for Kaiser Klein here. Kind of back and forth, little trades here. Five Wakina. Getting some good shots actually, but now being surrounded by large mass of Reuters while the rest of his uh, Joaquin aren't really in position yet. Five Axe Riders ships for Soldier here. It is past 15 minutes, so he would actually be able to big button. Uh, he doesn't have the food available. We'll have to see if he looks to call big button soon. He has a. He does not have enough skirms here to fight this. Arsenal going up for Kaiser Klein. Military or eco is slightly in favor of Kaiser Klein here. There are a pretty large number of Reuters here, so uh, good amount of anti cavalry. Be nice if Soldier could bit, get a fire pit and get that explorer back and potentially dog soldiers, but um, 
Soldier continuing to train units here. Quite even game here so far. Infantry combat and for soldier or for Kaiser Klein. So he now has cavalry combat and infantry combat, really beefing up his army. And now soldier, here we go. I think he's going for the timing. He's building the fire pit. I hope he dances for the war chief to come back here first. Come back at full HP, which will be massive. <clears throat> and it looks like he's macroing for dog soldiers. So he may have a large timing push. And also she been nearly available for soldier. Uh, so it may be go time for soldier in the next minute or two here. Putting lots of villagers onto the fire pit. Assuming that he's dancing, yep, dancing for the war chief, very smart. So he's gonna get that war chief back at full HP for the start of the next fight, which is very good. Some arsenal upgrades. We have ranged cavalry in here for Kazuklein. He has the resources for uh, dog soldiers through Big Button. Reuter is getting a nice raid here, just uh, interrupting soldier. And we do have another shipment uh, on the way here for soldiers, so it's got to be go. To, oh, but more villagers exposed. Soldiers kind of getting raided everywhere here. Meanwhile, he's uh, really waiting, and oh, these raids are actually not good at all for soldier. And um, there is the dog soldier. So it is now officially go time for soldier. He has to make something happen here. Losing quite a bit of eco here. Kev hit points coming in for soldier. This is soldier's go time. So we have, let's see, trying to find that. We have eight dog soldiers, eight axe riders. Military population advantage is in favor of soldier right now. Equal advantage in favor of Kaiser Klein. It's up to soldier to make something happen here. Trying to find the military slash economy of Kaiser Klein. Force and engage. But there are a lot of choke points here. Positioning is going to be massive. Tag dance is on. Maximum villagers on the attack dance. It's go time for the Sioux. Wants to force something to happen. Needs to pick the right location, though, of course. Doesn't want to uh, wait too long, however. Another bank going down for Kaiser, actually. And here we go. It is beginning. Will Soldier's army be able to get on top of Kaiser Klein? Is Kaiser Klein kind of going in the open field here. And that's what the Dog Soldiers want. And let's see how this... Fight goes. Dog Soldier's not fully committing. Soldier trying to get on there, connect with the snare. Cavalry damage coming in for Soldier. Dog Soldier's now starting to connect onto the Skirmishers infantry attack in for Kaiser Klein. And Kaiser Klein just doing a really good job fighting here. And it looks like the Sioux army is just starting to melt. And it uh, looks like this was just perhaps not enough here. Dog soldiers didn't get the best around. Perhaps some of them could have came on the other side. Um, get a better trip. But that is it. Soldier calls the GG. And game 5 goes to Kaiser Klein. Kaiser Klein up 3 2 in this best of 7. Good effort by Soldier, but looks like it just was near, just barely not enough. I think he delayed that timing for by quite a lot. He, yeah, actually a significant amount. He called the dog soldiers at like 18 minutes when I, I think he easily could have called them at like 15 minutes. Um, I think he just didn't pay attention to that. I, I think it would have went much better if he called it sooner. Yeah, I think really delaying that big button timing by just, just too much. Um, hopefully Kaiser did not go offline it is the best of seven. Oh god Kaiser just went offline somebody find Kaiser it's the best of seven does he not know he literally just went offline.
Oh god, I really <laughs> I oh boy. I highly okay, this does not look good. Kaiser should have known it was but I I said it was best of seven. Hopefully he's coming back, but um Yeah, Kaiser just went off the line, so there's that. Oh uh, Kaiser, it's a best of seven. <laughs> Get your ass back on, dude. I don't know if he's listening to me or not, but uh, yeah, Kaiser, it's best of seven, dude. <laughs> let's let's wrap this up. It ain't over. It ain't over yet. I don't know if he's restarting his computer or uh, restarting. He might just be restarting AV3 for sound, but I, I mean, I or I'm not sure if he forgot or if he thought it was best of five or what. But uh, he is in the chat, so hopefully we get him back on here so we can continue the series. Yeah, I did mention at the start that it was a best of seven, and you know it's in the forum, so you should know that it is a best of seven. And Kaz Lions back. Good. All right. All right, so let's see what map we get here. All right, so this is game six, and it will be played on Jabal Musa. And let's go ahead and spin that wheel for Kaiser Klein. Let's see what civilization Kaiser Klein gets here. In game six, Kaiser Klein getting the Portuguese civilization. And let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Soldier. Let's see what civilization Soldier gets here in game six. Soldier getting the Iroquois civilization. All right, so we have Portuguese versus Eral on Jabel Musa. We'll have to see if either player decides to use their respin. As we are in game six, only one player can use their respin, you know, in, in one game. Uh, looks like both players are clicking into it, though. All right, guys, we're getting into game six here. This is the GUA October 2019 subscriber tournament. This is a bronze match between Soldier and Kaiser Klein. We've got a $40 prize pool up for grabs here. For the winner of this series, this is a best of seven. Kaiser Klein currently up two to, ah, Kaiser Klein currently up three to two. And uh, this is match point here. So Soldier needs to win this one to stay alive. We have Kaiser Klein. Playing as a Portuguese in the red here. Soldier playing as the Iroquois in the blue. I would love to see you move play civ for once that involved using micro and brain. Instead of shipment civs or one hand civs. Su slash China slash Spain. Also Ot Slick is fucking up. <laughs> Alright, so we got the one dollar donation and message from Sir Musket there. A classic one dollar dono. All right, so we're playing on Jabel Musa here, and um, this is interesting because my man. oh my my man, we got our incoming host from Ride Coke with one beer. Thank you. Uh, so this is quite interesting because Kaiser Klein played in this exact matchup versus Mido in in my subscriber tournament series. Yeah, I believe it, yes it was. Um, actually, I believe it was. Yeah, it must have been the subscriber tournament. Uh, but Kaiser Klein was the Eero, and Mido was the Portuguese, and they played on Malaysia. And uh, I remember Kaiser feeling really confident, thinking that what he did as Eero should have worked, but he actually Mommy. lost it. Um, 
So I think he, he might feel like he knows this matchup quite well. Uh, but he's on the other end of it, so it'll be interesting. And at the same time, I don't think Kaiser Klein, he's not much of a C player, so uh, we'll have to see if he goes for a C boom this game or not. And if you guys remember that game, um, it was a very, very unique game where, like, the My Portuguese, <laughs> the one, the one uh, year host coming in. Um, yeah, so it was a very unique game where, like, the Portuguese had literally double My the ego of, of Iroquois. But it got to a point where there were Forest Prowlers versus... Um, It was Forest Prowlers versus uh, the Castadors, right? That's the Castadors? Um, oh, wow, yeah. Oh, jeez, Kaiser Clans explored very low. It was Forest Prowlers versus the Castadors, and, um, you know, Forest Prowlers is just drastically stronger than the Portuguese skirmishers. And it was very funny to kind of see them fight each other, and it looked it looked really bad for the Portuguese, where, like, the Port had literally doubled the eco for like 40 more villagers, but he just kept losing fights because the Euro army was just way, way stronger. Uh, but eventually, the eco difference just became too large, and uh, I might have switched to the Bat Huss and got a big Bat Huss batch to surprise the Euro. So, um, so the Portuguese did end up winning that game. So it'll be very interesting. I feel like if the Ecos are similar at all in any way, I think Euro has a very large advantage in this game. But so it's like it's up to the Portuguese to try to, you know, see see boom or get some massive eco advantage. <clears throat> but if you can't get a big eco advantage Just making sure this is not a recast. Hello chat. <laughs> this this is not a recast, this is live. Thank you for the two dollar donation, uh Zerus. Uh nope, this is live, this is the Browns match. Uh, the finals was already already streamed. That was streamed on Sunday, so this is the last uh, series in the tournament, concluding the tournament right after this best of seven. Kaiser Klein currently up to three to two. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to see if Kaiser tries to go for C here or not. He did not ship anything in age one. Now on his way up to age two here. Wow, and soldier. <laughs> All right, soldier, uh, bringing out the play here. Actually, starting with a dock in age one. Uh, I did not see this since I was like, you know, talking about this matchup so much. But already three fishing boats out. He's gonna have a very late age two. Uh, but wow, okay. And Schooners is in for Kaiser Klein, so Kaiser is gonna go for C here. Soldier already on C, so perhaps there'll be some early fighting for C. Uh, one already turning out to be quite unique. Soldier now just on his way up to age two. Kaiser Klein about to hit age two uh, pretty soon here. Taking a look at text completed. Kaiser Klein with hunting dogs and gang saw. So yeah, I think if Eero can keep a somewhat similar eco, or even just not be massively behind an eco, I, I think they have quite a, a good advantage in this matchup. Especially like once it gets to H3 and you start getting Force Prowlers out, I think the Eero army just becomes very strong. Kyle's kind of client seeing this uh, trivial and uh, starting to snare right away. And uh, I think Soldier's plan was perhaps put it along the C here. He's going to try to save it, pulling his pets, and oh, he has a Gurkha from the treasure. Uh, this is getting risky, though. Let's see how quickly. Oh, and it is Sharp Strike coming back, and it is forcing uh, Kaiser Klein to actually retreat here. So he does save the Trivial very smart. And he is going to kill this, the Portuguese Explorer. And who knows? I mean, perhaps Kaiser Klein wanted to build Trading Post, but now with the Explorer down, um, yeah, that's going to be big. So Soldier did build this, uh, you know, pretty forward. Not really along the sea, though. I don't know that it does much damage to sea to boats, though. Uh, just kind of securing this hunt here, and now Soldier working on the trading posts. And we have a very defensive town center from Kaiser, so uh, he is starting with the sea boom. But I kind of like this from Soldier. It looks like he's gonna go for a three TP stagecoach and the map control. 
And he does scout the dock now, so he is aware of this. And he also has, I mean, he's even, like, sea booming. And now even making canoes. And, like, just a couple canoes is actually going to be a massive um, disruption in this sea economy from Kaiser Klein. Well, it's it's going to force Kaiser Klein to either train a caravel or ship two caravels. Even just, like, a single canoe it will, will disrupt the, the port sea boom that much. And, I mean, this guy would cost, what, 100 wood. So, very, I, I really like this play from Soldier so far. Second dock coming in for Kaiser Klein, right next to the first one. First canoe here, and actually going for the villager with a Gurker and a canoe. And, yeah, it's going to be close. I think the dock will get, oh my god, no. I don't think the dock's going to get up. All two caravels are out, though. Villager, one hit. Gurko, shoot. Shoot, Gurko. Oh, the villager goes down. Five Tomahawks out. And it, it, slow, it stops the dock for now, at least, and the villager's going to have to cross... To, to build that. So that's actually quite unfortunate for um, Kaiser. And that single canoe, one single canoe, for, forced Kaiser Klein or caused Kaiser Klein to ship two caravels and to train one caravel. So that is a big response on sea. And meanwhile, Soldier are just now going full land. And he literally did build a single canoe. So smart from Soldier. And now he's just pushing on land. And, I mean, this is quite a lot of Tomahawks pushing underneath two town centers here. And, yeah, these three caravels might clean up all of this sea for Soldier, but, I mean, that's a pretty big investment, training a single caravel and uh, shipping two of them. I mean, it will lock down the sea for Kaiser, it looks like. Oh, and Ayana even getting those muskets here. This is going great for Soldier right here. Killing a house, housing Kaiser client. Ooh, I think he dropped off these muskets here, actually. I think they might have been in the boat the entire time. Nice little move there. And more muskets going to get trapped here. Three muskets should go down here. And even the Explorer now revived from these muskets, but the Explorer's going to go down right away. Very nice. Good cleanup from Soldier here. And there's no Colonial Militia in for Kaiser yet. And I mean, he doesn't even have resources for a single batch of Minutemen. And uh, Caravel's cleaning up. Wow, he actually lost his one Caravel to the... Uh, no, no, he did not. Nearly lost one, but uh, did a good job pulling back and we now healing it. Um, but yeah, Kaiser Klein investing quite a lot into that. He does now ship Colonial Militia. So now, after everything is said and done, he does have control of C. He does have Schooners, two docks, and he does have Colonial Militia shipped. So... Perhaps Port's in an okay situation here. Another villa does go down there, unfortunately. More muskets getting caught, though. I mean, Soldier's having such good trades, just like catching these random musket batches everywhere. Soldier needs to realize this, though, and I think retreat. He, Colonial Militia's now out. Uh, you can't really sit underneath two town centers with Colonial Militia. It's just not cost-effective. I think Soldier needs to realize Colonial Militia's here, and he needs to get out of here. I mean, he is doing quite a bit... You know, quite a bit housing Kaiser, but uh, I mean, this is just not going to be worth it. And I'm afraid Soldier may stay here too long and just kind of lose like his whole army here to like TC fire. I mean, it is causing lots of vital time, but uh, obviously cleaning up the army quite quickly. I mean, I think with all everything that's going on, though, Soldier has a pretty good lead from all this play, forcing two caravels and then the one caravel being trained. Kaiser, or Soldier now retreating here. So I think this is looking quite good for Soldier. Soldier now building a second trading post. He's He is behind an eco, but not not by a significant amount. He is ahead of the military. And, uh, you know, we're already nine and a half minutes into this game. He's got a second trading post, and now going to have it working on a third. And just having such good trades, cleaning up so many muskets like for completely free. Mark it on the field here for Soldier. And we even have Lumber's um, ceremony here for Soldier and Hunting Dogs. So let's see if these uh, trade posts get upgraded. And now War Hut being built. Soldier going to have uh, three trade posts and perhaps get three TP stagecoach. Oh, it looks like this one TP actually will get can get seeds down. Or shot down from a boat. Well, ooh, I don't know. This was actually very strategic. 
there's the stage coach just coming in. We'll have to see. Can this train post get shot down? I mean, you could park a caravel right here, but the war hut's here. I'm not sure if it will do enough damage. I, I might be able to keep that uh, keep this train post up. And I mean, look at this. So, oh, soldier actually staying H2, training lots of units. Ooh, one house, nice target to siege down there. Yeah, second war hut coming down here. And Soldier keeping an eye on this hunt. Keeping Kaiser Klein confined to his base. He is starting to get quite a bit of sea boom going, but the egos have been really similar for you know this entire game. Kaiser just now starting to take this, you know, the eco lead. And as I said, a lot of times like the port need to have like a much larger eco rather than you know even just a small lead. They need to get the really large eco lead, and it's taking uh, Kaiser a long time to get that eco lead going. And losing house after house, like so much woods having to be chopped and rebuilt, you know, put back in the houses. Man, that single one canoe was the MVP of this game. It caused Kaiser to ship two caravels and to train one caravel, like early on. And those were resources that couldn't be invested, you know, into boats or, uh, or you know, uh, providing more economy for Kaiser. And now even the stable in these houses are actually exposed. So I think soldiers should just park right under here and yeah, start seizing these down. Kaiser Klein is now on his way to H3. Could see a potential minimum call here, but I mean, no, that's not really a smart choice. I think soldier can just kind of get away with like sieging all this down. Is he gonna like force Kaiser Klein to call like uh, minimum or? I mean, this is actually quite massive if you lose a house, like stable, and potentially like, another house. But I mean, one TC with Colonial Militia is firing away, so it is doing quite a bit of damage. Infantry attack already in for soldier, making that military unit stronger. Three TP stagecoach, you know, ticking away for soldier. There is the age up soldier trying to find that TC wagon. There's a big button of colonial militia. Let's see if soldier can get out of here. And he does get the stable too. He calls, forces the minimum call, finishes this off the stable, and retreats with. You know, the large majority of his army. And this is just looking great for Soldier. I mean, he's behind an eco boiler. It's only like, you know, 10, 12, you know, just a small um, eco lead there. Not that much. Only 12 right now. Oh, needs to back out though. Miniman don't want. Oh, Soldier overstaying here by a lot. And, uh, I mean. Well, oh, why? He kills a converted wagon. Oh my god, okay. Maybe Soldier should not overstay. I actually wasn't paying attention to that at all. And uh, wow, that was actually massive killing that. I think Soldier was in a really good spot before killing that, but uh, perhaps knowing Kaiser would want us in that TC uh, near the sea and uh, positioning his army there in, in perfect position to potentially cut it off. And wow, that was massive. And I mean, even without we even without killing that wagon, like Soldier's in a really good position. I would say for Pretty significant lead. He actually has a superior eco. He has three TP stagecoach. He probably has maybe the same eco, if not better, and he has 40 military to zero. And so, like, imagine TC didn't get killed. Say it, it just got built right now, and, and it's up. You know, Kaiser would have three towns and arms, but the game wouldn't look that much different right now. But I mean, it still looks very one sided. Um, very good for Soldier. Look at this positioning units everywhere for these hunts. I mean, what can Kaiser gather from? Rebuilding a stable quite far from the TC's again though And this is just looking good for soldier I mean, I think he's even gonna spot this Ooh, barely missing the stable it looks like Soldier is hanging around in H2 for a very long time, uh, but at the same time he you know he's doing quite a bit uh, equal wise um, Staying up there now. He is now on his way up to H3 so um yeah, I think Soldier's going to be looking great here. The sea boom is growing for Kaiser. That's always something to keep an eye on. Kaiser on the berries here. All of his soldiers on berries. And Soldier, <laughs> so strange. Kaiser had his stable sieged down right here. And then he decided to rebuild it in the same location. I think he even rebuilt it further from his sound centers. 
Seems like a very strange uh, location, obviously. I don't know if he was trying to bait something or if he just, I don't know, wasn't, didn't consider it possibly getting siege. Uh, obviously, obvious choice would have been, like, you know, put the stable like here in between the two town centers with cloning militia fire, but um, decide to build that stable aggressively, and I mean, it's just gonna get siege down again. And uh, honestly, these goons can't even really fight this. He's trying to optimize the shots. Oh, normal batch of minmen being called. China going to ooh organ guns. with sneaky organ guns. So it looks like Kaiser Klein was trying was trying to bait. Um, Soldier, as I said, Sable did go down. <laughs> I didn't even, didn't even see the units go down, but you just saw plus tens everywhere there. But the Sable did go down, which is, I mean, pretty big. Uh, maybe an even trade there. And Villager's is getting attacked over here. Eco is still pretty similar. I mean, a, a bit better for a Kaiser Klein. I mean, it's 45 bills with a 3 TP stagecoach, so I don't know, perhaps 55 bills, you could say. To like the 67. And it, like I said, it gets to the point where, like, when Eros H3 and they have Forest Prowlers, like, <laughs> what does Portuguese make versus Forest Prowlers? There's not a ton of options. Like, usually you can go, like, Bat Hus, but you know, you, Euro can also get Musket Riders. And it just seems like the Euro army is so much stronger that, like I said earlier, if their Ecos are somewhat similar. It seems Zero has a really strong advantage. And wow, Town Center, look, oh my god, look at Soldier. A sneaky dock, trying to maybe get back on sea or just cause Kaiser to invest more resources in the fighting sea. And even a TC going down next to two war huts. Tomahawk still here, hanging out. Infantry combat in for Soldier after infantry attack. So it's. Units are already going to be strong. TC is now up here for Soldier. Doc firing away at the fishing boats. Oregon Guns trying to get in position here. Going to find the TC though. Oregon Guns firing away at the TC, but they're just tickling it. Not doing a whole lot of damage to it. Three more organ guns. So there are a lot of organ guns out for Kaiser Klein. It could be difficult for a soldier to deal with the organ guns. We'll have to see. Oh, Warchief. Oh, yeah. Careful of that guy. We took a large value there. Oh, look at this. Four canoe shipment. Soldier trying to time this right to perhaps find the organ guns. And one caravel gonna go down very quickly. Oregon guns onto the canoes, couple canoes popping out. It is go time. Tomahawk sparring from what from around the cliff here. Some forest prowlers out on the field here. Canoes attacking the in a second caravel going down. And that was all three caravels for um, Kaiser. And look at this. Look at this image right here. Hero boats far and away. Organ guns. Oh, these organs are going to get some really good values, but I think they will ultimately get cleaned up. Perhaps, oh, there's some over here. Organs, organs do all get cleaned up. And, um, Soldier on C. He looks like Soldier's winning C and winning land here. And yeah, there's the GG. Very well played by Soldier, I'd say. So Soldier ties this one up 3 3. Yeah, Kaiser saying his strength is not C, but. Yeah, I mean, playing this on this map, Portuguese versus Euro, without going C, I, I, it would be very tough, I think. I think Port kind of have to go C here. Alright, so we're going to go into Game 7. Another great series. The finals was a, went to Game 7, and the semifinals also go into Game 7. Really, uh, really exciting. Proud of both these, uh, all these players here. Putting up a really fun show for, for the viewers here. All right, so only one player can use their Civ Veto. Whoever asks for it first gets the Civ Veto, as that's the rule. Neither, both of them have it available, but neither of them used it. So we we'll have to see if a Civ Veto comes, or I mean, a Civ re Respin. We we'll have to see if a Respin comes out in Game Seven here from either player.
All right, game seven being played on Manchuria. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Kaja Klein. Drum roll, game seven. $40 to third place here. Spin the wheel for Kaiser Klein. What civilization does Kaiser Klein get here in game seven? Kaiser Klein getting the British. All right, Kaiser Klein gets the British. And let's spin the wheel for Soldier. What civilization does Soldier get here? In game seven, soldier getting the Sioux civilization. Let's see if either player asks for the respin. Like I said, whoever asks for it first gets it, and uh, otherwise, only one respin can be used in per game. Brit versus Sioux on Manchuria. Quite an interesting one here. We've already seen soldier play as Sioux once this series. Was versus the Dutch on Tibet, and soldier did lose that game. I believe Kaiser played as Brits earlier in the series. Um, Kaiser Klein clicking in. Soldier, will he ask for a respin or is he happy with the Sioux? Honestly, I, I don't know. It's a tough call here. He is clicking in. And here we go. We are in game seven. This is the GUA October 2019 subscriber tournament. We are in the bronze match here. This is for third place. We have Kaiser Klein versus Soldier. And this is game seven of the best of seven. We're playing on Manchuria. Kaiser Klein playing as a British civilization. Soldier playing as the Sioux civilization. Let's go. I am pumped for this one. Both players had their respin available, but neither one choose to use it. Uh, it's quite an interesting matchup. I feel like this the Sioux have been in the spotlight a lot recently. Uh, I think Soldier actually feels that the Sioux are quite strong here. Uh, slightly interesting, neither player asking for the respin, but I mean, both civs are pretty good. Perhaps you don't want to risk it and get, you know, one of the lower tier civs with, with a, your respin. So uh, maybe just playing it safe and, and uh, wanting to take, the, you know, the civs that you currently have here. All right, so this is a coin start here. Kaiser Klein gathering coin. Looks like he would be going for the hunting dogs uh, with the markets. Ooh, so you could have converted this guy right away and got that 55 coin. Looking for perhaps the wood treasures. Oh my god, he's back hurting. Oh, that's, that hurts. That's painful. And he's even... Okay. Did he have like, a really bad first hunt? Oh my god, this was his first hunt? He back hurted his first hunt, didn't he? Holy shit. Uh, that's quite painful. I mean, I guess he will turn this into like his first hunt, but uh, very bad initial hurting from Soldier. He does get a 50 with Treasure, so that is nice. Uh, able to get a TP from that. Uh, but yeah, that's hurting. <laughs> it was quite painful for Soldier. I mean, this kind of fixes it, but uh, yeah, obviously not optimal. Oh, wow. Kaiser finding this wood in the back of the base. He may sneak this from Soldier. Stealing a 90 wood that's behind your, your opponent's face. That, that feels good for Kaiser and gotta feel bad for Soldier. So it's quite interesting talking about that game where Soldier did play a suit earlier. He looked pretty good. He was in a pretty good position, but it looked like he really messed up his timing with the Dog Soldiers. Like I said, at the 15 minutes, he could have called Dog, dog Soldiers. But he really delayed it for, I think, like three minutes. Um, and, I mean, that's just massive. I think he just didn't hit the timing when he when he really had the opportunity, to, you know, to hit the timing. Uh, he just really messed it up. And um, So we'll have to see if he can do a better job this game or, uh, you know, how he's going to play this one out. Was able to get that free TP from the 50 Wood Treasure, uh, helping benefit his villagers here. And this aura is quite far, even getting this far villager uh, beefing up this guy. And uh, hurting, not the best from soldiers, so this one's not getting the, getting the boost. Uh, yeah, I don't know, quite sloppy hurting from soldier, but obviously lots of multitasking. He did get lots of EX here, so um, he's got eight EX right now, while Kaiser Klein only has a single EX. 
And so we're coming across an 85 wood treasure. So sometimes you gotta pick and choose where you keep your main focus. I mean, of course, you're never on a back herd, obviously, but um, <clears throat> you know, soldier not the best herding, but getting lots of yaks here and uh, doing some good things on in other areas of the game here. Getting an 85 wood, very nice. How's the client explorer? Already pretty low, but you're gonna be able to get the 60 food treasure. Oh, he's actually eating two yaks. Okay, uh, kind of interesting. I guess I speed up the age up a little bit. Um, so let's see if Soldier builds a trading post here. He did get that 85 wood. He is aging up, and there's 80 XP here. It seems like he doesn't want to build a trading post. No, he's going for a market instead. All right, uh, interesting. I, I don't know. I, th I would have expected to see a trading post. But perhaps that means he'll be more aggressive. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say right now. Oh, man. Kaiser's hunts. Uh, bringing in the second hunt and now doing a good job hurting over here. Uh, no real back hunts there. But similar situation uh, for Soldier. He does have quite a bit of hunt now underneath his town center, so that's not too bad. I think Kaz will be okay here. And he'll be able to herd this hunt in quite a bit, so. Um, yeah, hunt's always, you know, something to pay close attention to for the British. And meanwhile, Soldier, yeah, his next hunt's pretty, you know, kind of far out there, too. Alright, Kaz Klein aging up with 200 gold and tower here. And wow, look at this. Soldier was going to build a war hut right here, but he saw barracks going down, and he still decides to build the war hut. So we're going to have uh, some quick early action. Oh, my God, look at this. We got walls coming down from Kaiser, pulling out all the stops here. Soldier getting an ADXP charger here. Tower going up right next to this barracks. Uh, Kaiser canceling it, putting it a little bit closer to the racks. Three villagers building the war hut. We'll have to see everything. You see, like clubmen, axe riders shipped here. You may see some very aggressive shipments. Perhaps Bert will even ship muskets as his first shipment. Game pause. Oh, unpause. Okay, there we go. Go. Explorer does go down for Kaiser Klein. Nice little pickup there. And this is uh, stable. And nice to potentially get later on. But there's going to be a lot of early action here. So, uh, 700 wood coming in for Kaiser. So, not being super aggressive here. Not shipping like uh, muskets right off bat. And perhaps that is a mistake because seven clubs are shipped for Soldier. They get around the... Oh, but here we go. Muskets are out. Are the clubs going to be able to get onto the muskets? One musket on the other side of the wall here. Clubs trying to get on top of the muskets here. Warchief doing damage. And the archers seeing bows being trained here. And it's going to clean up these muskets very quickly. So, yeah, that was quite risky. Not shipping, like, military shipment there. I figure Soldier would probably ship clubs or axe riders first. And... Uh, this might look really good for Soldier right now. Cleaned up five muskets for, you know, nearly free. He did lose his war chief here. Uh, but that was a very good trade for Soldier. Bowman being trained here, seeing bows targeting them. And more seeing bows trained. So it's gonna. Soldier's gonna be able to clean up this tower and start sieging the racks. And uh, I think this looks good for Soldier here. With the early aggression, another barracks was trained at home for Kaiser. And here we go. Now Kaiser responding appropriately, shipping six bowmen as he realizes this action is happening very quickly and he needs to get some units out quick. Soldier now seeing the six long bowmen and retreating. First barracks is being sieged down, but we do have a second barracks for Kaiser here. Muskets being trained here, immediately getting... Uh, Snared by the war clubs, though. Pretty good job there. But the bowmen are in position here to potentially pick off the war clubs. More archers here from Soldier. War clubs are going in, moving in. And this, I think, will be a good trade for Soldier. You get the war clubs on top of the long bowmen. There still are quite a good number of muskets, however. War clubs going in this cover mode to try to tank. Pretty even trades here. And perhaps Kaiser will hold here. It's hard to say. 
Um, six archers being trained. Three muskets trained from this barracks. Will they be able to escape or will soldier track them down? Looks like they are getting away there. Sue Explorer is back up in the mix. Six muskets trained for Kazuri. Knows he needs to get the last military units out here. Archers getting a good shot off. Four Axe Riders shipped here. There are a lot of muskets here. Axe Riders, you know, not the best answer. War clubs are still sieging down. Soldier perhaps wants to. I don't know. Uh, maybe he is. He's okay fighting here, I guess. And still, meanwhile, is sieging down the racks. Axe Riders trying to get on top of the longbowmen. A lot of uh, villagers exposed here. Potential Minutemen call from Kaiser. Minutemen are called from Kaiser here. Soldier backing off in time, though, very quickly. And Minutemen not going to get any shots off here. I think Soldier's going to completely back off. He killed the barracks from Kaiser Klein here. And this game is, uh, I think it's looking quite good for Soldier. Ecos are pretty similar here. Kaiser up by uh, five villagers. So you're able to retreat right away with those men not even getting a shot off, and now they're gonna be down to one HP. Now soldier just cleaning up these wall segments here. I mean, this game doesn't seem to be lagging that much. It's not perfect, but um, you know, unfortunately, there's nothing more we can do. Obviously, it is frustrating playing in lag, but. Axe Riders moving in, but they're going to find the muskets here and taking a lot of shots there. He did, I believe, see the stable, though, so at least he will have that information. Oh, and, okay, Soldier, he does see this treasure. Hopefully he brings his, his cab back, and this is a free stable here. I mean, this is quite quite a nice treasure. If he, I think, would be a good time to get this. And that's like a 250 wood treasure right there. And, well, even more since the stable gets built on its own. Not to use villager seconds to build it. So, um, that's quite a big treasure if soldier can get this. But when all is said and done, the British is ahead in eco here. I think soldier is now going for this treasure. He sees this, knows it's a very good treasure to go for. Uh, meanwhile, the Brits, you know, they are starting to run low on hunts. Every the longer this fight this goes on, the Brits are going to just have to get further and further out on the map. And we're starting to see both players getting like far out for their hunts. And there we go. Soldier gets the treasure. And that is a free stable. Very big treasure. Stable, did I say 250 wood? Stable costs 200 wood. <laughs> that might be an old school fact. I believe back in the day, stables used to cost 250 wood. I, I think I said 250 wood the first time. Yeah, so back in the day, stables used to cost 250 wood, and then uh, the, and they eventually changed it to 200 wood, so <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, sending this guy to do some scouting. Bring the stable all the way back home, actually. Surprised he wouldn't drop it right next to the war hut. Wow, so you're actually going H3, that's why. I think this is a good play, actually. I mean, he is behind eco-wise. He's not going to build a trading post while wow, look at this explorer He's getting out barely with enough health. So the Sioux are now up to age three. They have the score lead, and uh, they're the Sioux civilization. So usually Sioux, you know, have as much low, less score since they don't have houses and just less, much less buildings. So I think soldiers are gonna be feeling good here. Have another war hut coming down for a soldier. Actually, before the uh, and now the trading post. Getting another fifty-five coin. Nice. Just doing every little thing you can there. It is going to allow Kaiser Klein to get out on the map and get these hunts. Oh, look at these axe riders coming, though, for a raid here. And I think they're going to spot these villagers. Soldier have been on top with the raids this entire series. Kaiser Klein seeing that soldier hit age 3. And now Kaiser moving forward, shipping 5 villagers. And he does have some hussars here. He's going to seize down this war hut, it looks like, or will he just ignore and no, he's going to seize down, of course, very quickly, just with the muskets and sending the rest of the army forward. Oh my god, did those axe riders walk past all these villas? Oh, that's painful. Looks like they may find these villagers, though. And that will be big. Soldier really needs to buy some time here. Uh, he does 
Oh, he, he built a war hub. That's what he did with the free trap build. He didn't build a stable. He built a war hub back at home. Okay. Axe Riders are killing a couple villagers, but now three Hussars are trained. And a couple TPs even being built here. As he knows, Kaiser's going to probably push. So why not build TPs and if a fight's going to occur right here? Eco Gap is growing larger. Five Rifle Riders for Soldier. And that will actually be a massive uh, boost to his military. And it will help deal with these Hussars significantly. Hussars are going to look for a raid, though. That's big. If you can raid the Sioux when they already have a weaker economy, that would be pretty big. So you're going to need to be on top of it. He does have his rifles riders here, though. Here we go. Engage is about to begin. Rifle riders are here waiting for the Hussars. Soldier pulling back. Probably wants to fight near his TPs. A couple of war clubs still up. Hussars are trying to connect here. But here are the rifle riders. Getting one shot off here. Hussar quickly dropping. Kaiser Klein seeing the rifle riders now, and I think realizing he needs a retreat or he wants to back off for a bit. Kaiser Klein nowhere near going up to H3. He's just going to be committed to H2. Meanwhile, Soldier about to have another shipment available soon, and it's going to be another H3 shipment, so that's going to be you know, massive, getting those H3 shipments when your opponent's you know, shipping H2 shipments. War Hut also going down for Soldier here. I like it. Be able to get attack dance going for if a big fight occurs soon. <clears throat> Soldier eco eco difference is growing, however. There are a lot of Hussars out here for, for Kaiser Klein. That is 13 Hussars. Looking at the anti-cavalry for a soldier, we have five clubmans, which you know can chop very quickly. Five rod for riders. And he's continuing to train Wakina. So very little anti-cav. We are we have a shipment on the way though, so this could be like um, axe riders, which would, you know, five axe riders would be quite significant actually, and help uh, body block and just do a lot of damage. And three dog soldiers, that's also a great one. And it might be go time for soldier here. His army is looking pretty beefy here. Musket attack coming in for Kaiser Klein. Quite even game here. I don't know how long soldier wants to wait. He is approaching the 15 minute mark and he is gathering all everybody on food now. So I think he's setting up this timing much, much better than last game. He's got 30 seconds. He needs 500 more food. Kaiser Klein perhaps aware of this, pushing out on the map. And I think we're going to see a big bun here in the next uh, minute. And this could be a huge power spike for the Sioux Army. Kaiser Klein going in. How quickly will this push come? Soldier needs more time. He doesn't have enough food for it yet. So there's five villagers on gold here. He nearly has enough though, and Kaiser Klein has not pushed in yet. Big Bunnin will be coming here. We're at the 15 minute mark. Everybody's dancing. Everybody's joining the fire pit to dance. 1500 food in the bank. This British military is very large, so 96 military population. Uh, still no big button call yet. He's still floating that food. Perhaps training a couple units also, but uh, he's dancing now. I, it's got to be go time soon. He's got half his, his economy just dancing, and um. I, uh, is he waiting till 16 minutes? I don't, you don't get more, do you? Losing a couple villagers here. And there we go. Big one is now called. Finally. Danced around for all in probably an entire minute there. Not calling it. But every villager dancing for the attack dance. There's the big button. And we have nine dog soldiers on the field. Giant power spike for soldiers army here. 
And there are a lot of long bowmen in. Here we go. Dog soldiers connecting onto the long bowmen. Pretty good positioning here. Rifle riders need to get on top of these hustlers, however. And here's the this is the game right here. Will the dog soldiers be able to do enough damage? There are a lot of muskets here in hand ta hand attack. A couple dog soldiers getting back on the longbow men here very well. All the hustlers are eliminated very quickly here for Kaiser Klein. And there is still a lot of Sioux army on the field. Three, so five dog soldiers out, and they're all on top of Longbowmen right now. And there's no Hussars. Musket mass falling for Kaiser Klein. And this is looking great for Soldier right now. Cleaning this army up. And now just a batch of muskets here. Very good timing there from Soldier. Does have half the eco nearly, but did a massive cleanup on the army there. No villagers gathering any resources, and there's five axemen being shipped. Five axe riders. Oh, and even more longbow coming in, but those longbows won't be doing anything. Five hussers, four hussers. And these muskets all getting cleaned up, and I don't think Kaiser's... That's it. That's GG. Kaiser can't put together an army. And game seven goes to Soldier here. Kaiser upsets. I mean, it's unfortunate it was laggy. I don't know. You know, there's nothing we could have really done about it. But, you know, obviously uh, not fun to play in lag. But, of course, both players are playing in the same exact lag. You know, it can be different when one player has to, you know, micro hit and run or something and the other player kind of is more like uh, right-clicking and stuff. But, um like I said, both players playing the same exact lag, just having played in the same um, situation. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. Soldier taking this series. Another great series. The, Bron the finals match went to Game 7, and the Browns also to Game 7. Soldier finally beating Kaiser Klein in a tournament series. I think they've met in tournaments a lot of times, and it seems like Kaiser Klein always wins every one. Uh, Soldier actually taking this one. And they actually met in the last UA sub tournament. I believe it was in the round in the semifinals. This time they meet in the bronze match, and uh, Soldier taking this one four three. So, congratulations to Soldier, uh, claiming third place in UA <coughs> UA October 2019 subscriber tournament, and also getting a forty dollar prize pool. So, uh, congrats to Soldier there. And that concludes this series, and that concludes this tournament. That is the tournament guys i hope you guys really enjoyed it obviously a lot of work went into it uh just organizing it scheduling games and stuff uh and casting all these series uh, it's been a ton of fun obviously i do it you know because i love you know love uh aw3 and love casting and all that stuff um but of course a lot of work and thank you guys for the donations started off with head killer uh, saying you donate fifty dollars, and then I told him that I'll match him for fifty dollars, and I got the idea to do a sub tournament, and then we had uh, I will spank you donate uh, fifty dollars, and then Zuda Zuda donate another fifty dollars, so we got the prize pool up to two hundred dollars for a sub tournament, which seems, which is actually really good. Honestly, two hundred dollars sub tournament seems uh, quote, uh, really awesome. I think it was a very successful tournament. We had a lot of people watching, a lot of viewers, uh, so I think the whole AOE three community really enjoyed this tournament. Uh, I think it was quite successful. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you guys have really enjoyed this tournament and you guys want to see more GUA sub tournaments, let me know. You know, leave some comments. I'll throw this up on YouTube, so leave some comments down um, in the description and comment section. And uh, you know, let me know on the forums, of course, if you guys really enjoy these, and I can try to you know continue to do these sub tournaments every uh, now and then. I'm definitely not going to do one for November. We're already into November. Um, and like I said, it's quite a bit of work. So taking at least one month off. But who knows? I mean, potentially uh, December or, I don't know, maybe next month. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how much requests there are to continue to do these. And, um, and yeah, I mean, that's about it. Look at these post-game stats real quick. And uh, dog soldier timing coming in. Here's them dog soldiers. And... Just destroying that British army, even though they were same military population. It's just that Sioux army is just so strong with the attack bands. So it can be very di difficult for the British to deal with it. And I think we're seeing it um, a lot. And we actually saw 
White Owen has in the finals. Wow, actually, you know what? I think Game 7... Wow, Game 7 of the finals was this exact matchup. That is crazy. It was Spirit vs. Sue in the finals. And, uh... I mean, spoiler alert. Don't watch the rest of this video if you don't want the spoiler. But, uh, Game 7 of the finals was this exact matchup. Spirit vs. Uh, Sue. And it ended basically the exact same way. Dog, Big Bun Dog Soldier was, con was called in it. And, uh... Military population was like the same. I think in the other game, the British had more military population, but they just got completely demolished to Sue. And uh, I think it's kind of showing quite a bit about the balance, to be honest. Uh, I've always felt like this is a tough matchup on like TP maps for Brits. And um, yeah, they just struggle versus Sue, like H3, big button timing. It's, it, I think it showed here. Um, Soldier taking advantage of that. Well played by both players. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, Leave, leave a like if you guys enjoyed it, and uh, follow me on Twitch, subscribe to me on YouTube, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.